we are here in Qatar for our version of the World Cup. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. Welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Runs. We have all 32 countries competing in this year's World Cup held in Qatar. All competing in this tournament. And we'll have two countries per video, all accumulating points. And that will predict which countries will advance to the next round of the World Cup. Today we have Qatar versus Ecuador competing in two races to try to get as many points as possible. Here are all 32 countries competing in the World Cup. Of course, we will have our own versions with all of these countries as well on their separate groups. And now it is time to start the Quebeca World Cup. We have Qatar versus Ecuador. First round, here we go through the Plinko, and it is Qatar who comes out to the early lead into this funnel. Who can come out first through this funnel and get into the stairs first? It will be Ecuador, who is one stair ahead of Qatar. As we go up, let's see if Qatar can catch back up. The host of the 2022 World Cup already falling a little bit short in this race, but they still have a lot of time to make up some ground. Ecuador now has entered the first yellow funnel. These yellow funnels a little bit larger, but the incline is a little bit sharper, which means the marbles go through them a little bit quicker than some of the orange funnels. Even though the orange funnels are smaller, the incline is a lot more gradual, which causes the marbles to go around a lot more times than they do in these larger yellow funnels. And Ecuador is stuck on the track. They have lost their lead. Qatar right up behind them now into the blue funnel. They're neck and neck. One more funnel after this. Qatar goes into the right funnel and Ecuador goes into the left. Who will exit first? It will be Qatar. And they'll get the first point of the day. And Ecuador will come out pointless with this first group. Now it's time for the second round between these two teams. And this is the last chance for Ecuador to gain any points. Qatar coming out to lead early, but here comes Ecuador. But they are getting pushed aside by Qatar, who's the first one to enter the stairs this time. And they're actually two stairs ahead of Ecuador this time, instead of being one behind in the last heat. Can Ecuador catch back up? They just hope and pray that Qatar will get stuck on the track like they did in the last group, the last round. Into the yellow funnels they go. Ecuador still a little bit behind. Qatar is the first one to leave the first yellow funnel. Ecuador coming in about a couple seconds behind Qatar. They still can make it. If Qatar does some mistake, even if they don't, Ecuador just does an amazing job. They will be able to catch up. But Qatar already up there in the blue funnel. And here comes Ecuador. A large hit from Ecuador. And now they're neck and neck in this blue funnel. Let's see if we exit the last funnel first. Qatar in the last funnel. But here comes Ecuador as well. They're neck and neck. Qatar barely ahead of Ecuador. And let's see who can come out first. It's Ecuador. And Ecuador will get the second point of this match. So both teams will have one. England versus Iran. Here we go. Iran, the more colorful one. England, the more blue tinted one. We go into this orange funnel. Who will come out first? Looks like England will be the first one to enter these stairs. Iran, quite a few stairs behind. Two stairs behind England as we go up the stairs. Let's see if England can keep the lead or if Iran can make a comeback. Up the second stairs they go. No movement yet. But as we get into the second sector of this course, that's where things really start to happen. Here we go into the yellow funnels. They go. And it is England still in the lead. Iran trying to catch up if they can make some contact to England. That will push them off course and possibly allow Iran to catch up and possibly even overtake for the lead. As we enter the second yellow funnel, England still and exiting the funnel first. Iran is having some trouble now as England goes into the blue funnel. Iran, though, trying to come up and catch here. If they can make a contact like that right there, they will even the playing field. Now England 
and Iran neck and neck. English one to exit first, and they both go into the same funnel. It will be a race to the line. Who will exit the funnel first? And it will be England who will exit first. They actually get stuck underneath the funnel, but still are able to finish in first. Causing Iran to push them across the line. England will get the first point. Now it's time for race two. This time it's Iran off to lead into the orange funnel. Of course, England trying to make a contact like they do right there. And a sly overtake by England up to the stairs. And again, they are two stairs ahead of Iran. Out of the stairs into the second stairs. And England is going to be, looks like, three stairs ahead of Iran this time. Iran is having a very hard time in this tournament. And England might be able to take both points from this match. Go into the yellow funnel. Looks like England is going to be able to exit first. Iran, though, catching up a little bit. England is able to exit the funnel first. Iran trying to just make a contact with England. Like they did in this upcoming funnel in the last race. They may be able to. Here goes England into the blue funnel. And here comes Iran. This is where it gets interesting, but no contact. But there's one right there. And Iran now in the lead as they go into the last funnel. England has some catching up to do, but they come in a hard hit from England. And they overtake the lead with confidence. England will get two points. A full smash out from England. Iran with zero points. It'll be tough for them to advance after this event. <laughs> Senegal in the green, the Netherlands in the yellow, and we are going with the first match to the orange funnel. Let go, and is Senegal in the lead? Will Netherlands be able to overtake? No, they won't through that orange funnel. And they're one step behind from, uh, Senegal. Let's see if they're able to gain any ground. Barely missing out on getting on the same step. Sometimes these marbles can get on the same step, and actually, the marble who's in the back will be the one who will get into the step and the other one will be pushed down to the bottom just because of how those stairs work. And is Senegal still in the lead? The Netherlands are trying to catch up. They're getting pretty neck and neck though. And the Netherlands are able to overtake through that yellow funnel. And Senegal very close behind. Let's see if they can catch up and overtake for the lead through this second yellow funnel. No, they won't. The Netherlands are still in the lead going in up into this blue funnel. Here comes Senegal as well. Will they make a contact? Yes, they do. And they give a little bit of momentum to the Netherlands. And they're able to exit the funnel first. The Netherlands are running out of time to be able to overtake the Senegal. About to exit their funnel. And they do. Senegal will get the first point of this uh, match. Netherlands will not. Netherlands still can't get one point in the second match. And Senegal is now racing for two points definitely help them with advancement to the next round of the World Cup. And there's a hit from the Netherlands there, and they overtake for the lead this time up into the uh, stairs. And Senegal is two stairs behind the Netherlands. Up into the second stairs. Has the Netherlands gained any more ground? No, they haven't. Senegal is still solidly two steps behind. Up into the yellow funnel they go. Let's see if Senegal can make any passes and overtake for the lead in these yellow funnels. They can get two points. Let's see if they want it bad enough. As we go into the second yellow funnel, the Netherlands quite a ways ahead. Senegal is not able to do any contacts there. The Netherlands will be the first one to enter the blue funnel. Senegal just now exiting the yellow funnel. Let's see if they can make a contact here. Yes, they do, but the Netherlands quick exit there they get out of trouble fast and now they're going to try to exit this yellow funnel before Senegal can catch up to them and they do so it'll be a tied game Netherlands will get one point Senegal will get one point that'll help them both and now for the first race we have USA and Wales the USA is in the blue Wales is in the white as we get started here into the first orange funnel and it looks like the USA comes out first into the stairs 
being followed very closely by Wales. Only one step behind the USA. Let's see if they can catch up any during the second stairs section or if they will lose any ground. Same uh, position as in this first stairs, but really the second half of this race is where things really start to get interesting. Let's see if Wales can catch up. Looks like they're putting some pressure on the USA right there, giving them a little bit of momentum. I think they've even slowed down a little bit there because when we're going through these funnels, the point is to go slower than your opponent because you'll get to the hole faster. And it is Wales who has regained the lead from the USA. See if the USA can take it back through the second funnel or through these last couple of funnels at the end of the course. Wales going into the blue funnel first. They have to try to get out of the funnel before the USA gets there because the USA can put a momentum on and they do right there. Overtaking for the lead. Can the USA exit this last funnel before Wales catches back up? Yes, they will. They are stuck underneath the uh, funnel there. But Wales, I don't think it's going to be able to pass them. No, they won't. The USA with the first point of this match. Now it's time for match two. Off we go through the Plinko section. They're still pretty neck and neck, but this time Wales is off to lead. But here comes the USA and a bump from the USA. And a swift move by them. And they overtake the lead and get a significant lead on the stairs. Four sections ahead of Wales. Wales has got a lot of catching up to do. They want to even just tie up the USA for this match. USA now entering the first yellow funnel. Whale now barely getting there. USA is clearly farther ahead down the funnel than Wales is. I'm not sure if Wales is going to be able to make any contacts. No, they won't through that first funnel. Let's see if they can catch up through the second funnel. USA trying to go as quickly as possible to avoid any contacts from Wales. And we don't have any contacts through the second yellow funnel. USA still has to hold off the lead for two more funnels but as we saw in the last match that's how they overtook and here comes Wales a contact from them now they're neck and neck into the blue funnel Wales is able to overtake just like the USA did in the last heat and Wales trying to get out of this yellow funnel first before the USA does they're having some trouble but they are able to it will be a tied match one point for the USA one point for Wales Argentina in the blue Saudi Arabia in the more greenish tan color as we get going here into the Plinko, and it is Argentina who gains the slight lead into the orange funnel. Let's see if Saudi Arabia can overtake through this orange funnel. They're pretty neck and neck, but, and they are able to overtake for the lead. We have two marbles on one stair. Unfortunately, Saudi Arabia was a little bit ahead, so they got the farther ahead stair than Argentina. And that'll lose Argentina a little bit of ground. Saudi Arabia is about a second ahead of Argentina which is not that far, especially when you get into these funnels because you can contact each other like Argentina did right there. And now the playing field has been leveled as we go to the whole Argentina overtakes for the lead. Can Saudi Arabia catch back up? Argentina trying to stay as far away from Saudi Arabia as possible because if they get too close, they could get a contact which could bump them off course, but they're pretty close here. Argentina gets stuck on the track before the uh, funnel. And that actually loses the momentum, which gets them through the funnel quicker. A nail biter from Argentina, and they'll take this match easily. Saudi Arabia did not see that coming. They just rammed them with all their might. Argentina used that to their advantage to the first point. And now it's time for the heat two, and it, they're pretty neck and neck still. Saudi Arabia, slight lead. But Argentina overtakes through this first orange funnel. So they'll be ahead in the stairs this time. Two stairs ahead of Saudi Arabia. Argentina off into the second stairs now. Saudi Arabia still trying to catch up. And there's still two sections behind Argentina. Argentina trying to get to that funnel and slow down as quickly as possible when they get into this yellow funnel here because they don't want to be hit by Saudi Arabia and lose course. And Saudi Arabia coming up a little bit here. They aren't able to do anything there. And Argentina is able to take first place through that first yellow funnel. Let's see if they can do it in the second yellow funnel. Saudi Arabia coming up a little bit behind there and they might overtake here. They're neck and neck, but Argentina is able to take first place still through that uh, funnel there. A hard hit from Saudi Arabia in this blue funnel. Argentina is able to withstand it. 
and they still are in the lead. And now into these final two funnels, whoever exits first will get the second point. And it's very close. Argentina coming out to the line, very close here at the World Cup. Denmark in the solid red, Tunisia in the white red stripes. And we are off. And it is Tunisia who comes out to the lead. I thought Denmark was going to go out there and lead at first, but they got caught up in that Plinko section. But Denmark was, uh, did lose out in that first orange funnel. And they're pretty slow outside the funnel as well. And they're uh, three steps behind Tunisia, who's already in the second stairs. Let's see if Denmark can catch up in these next couple of funnels because that's really where the action starts to happen. Tunisia has two more stairs to climb and then they'll be in the race with Denmark. Denmark trying to stay as far away from Tunisia as possible and they're circling around the hole and they are able to exit first. Tunisia not far behind, a couple seconds behind Denmark there as they go into the second funnel. If they can make a contact with Denmark, that will change everything and they have a tiny contact there, but nothing yet and Denmark out to the lead into this first blue funnel. Two more funnels to go. Can Denmark make a hard hit in this blue funnel? Yes, they do. And now another neck and neck, and I think Tunisia will be able to exit the funnel first. They're in the last funnel. Can Denmark catch up for the final point? A hard hit from Denmark, and they're racing to the line. Who will it be? And it will be Tunisia. We'll get the first point of this match. Denmark fought hard. And they lost out in that first match. Let's see if they can get a, a point in this second match into the orange funnel they go. They're neck and neck with Tunisia in the lead. But Denmark is able to get exit the funnel first up into the stairs. Tunisia again behind like we saw in the last heat. But let's see if they can catch up and overtake in the last couple of funnels like we saw in the last heat. Denmark trying to extend their lead as far as possible so they don't lose out on another point here in this match. And they're the first one to enter the yellow funnel. Let's we'll see if Tunisia can catch up here or if Denmark can hold the lead. They're closer to the hole than Tunisia is. But Tunisia trying to put a little pressure there. They aren't able to do it. Now they have a little bit of a break before they have to go up against Denmark yet again. Now they're trying to catch up again, but Denmark so close to the hole already. Tunisia trying to catch up there, but they aren't able to do it. But this is where this really starts to get interesting. Let's see if Tunisia can come up and hit Denmark from behind. Denmark's already in the last funnel. Looking bad for Tunisia at this point. Denmark might be able to tie up this match. And they do. It's a tied 1-1 game. Denmark 1, Tunisia 1. And that's our prediction for this match of the World Cup. And Tunisia taking a little while to finish that race. Not quite a comeback like we saw in the last match. Mexico in the green, Poland in the orange. And we are off into the Plinko. They go and Mexico in the slight lead. Poland is able to overtake through that white funnel. And now they're trying to pressure Mexico in this orange funnel. And they are able to take the lead, which Mexico possibly had. Hard to gauge who has the lead in those small orange funnels. Mexico looks like they had it. And Poland is two steps ahead of Mexico in the first stairs, entering the second stairs now. Mexico has actually lost a stairs. It's pretty unusual. I haven't seen a marble actually lose or gain any stairs in between these two sets. So that's unfortunate for Mexico. They have a little bit of catching up to do. Poland circling around that center hole closer than Mexico. And they are able to get into the second yellow funnel. Let's see if Mexico can catch up. They're running out of time. But the blue funnel coming up ahead is the place where most overtakes happen and let's see if it happens here Poland the first one will get to the blue funnel and they'll be spinning there first let's see if Mexico can make a contact on Poland and they do there and a quick overpass by Mexico they are now in the lead in this last yellow funnel and I think they're going to take the first point Poland not able to come up and catch back up Mexico with the first point of this match and Poland of course only has one more chance to tie up Mexico or Mexico can completely defeat Poland and get two points. Now it's time to heat two. And they are off into the Plinko. They go Poland again in the lead, but Mexico is in there as well. And they overtake through the funnel this time. Into the stairs they go. Poland losing some ground every step that Mexico takes up those stairs. And they're four steps behind Mexico. 
Mexico entering the next stairs. Let's see if Poland can lose or gain any stairs. And it looks like they lose a stair just like Mexico did in the last heat. Now there were five stairs behind Mexico as we go up into this yellow funnel. Poland does have some catching up to do, but overtakes are entirely possible as we've seen in some of the previous matches in this series. Mexico enters the second yellow funnel. Poland is still spinning around in the first one, and they finally exit and trying to catch up to Mexico in the second yellow funnel. Mexico already almost exiting the yellow funnel. They do there, and now they're going to enter the blue funnel. But let's see if Poland can come up and contact on Mexico. Mexico slowing down a little bit there, and they get a lot of momentum from Poland, but they're able to use it to exit that funnel. Poland is running out of time, and Mexico will get two points. Poland will not get any points, and they will advance no further in the World Cup. Unfortunate for Poland. That is our prediction for the World Cup. We'll have to see if it's right. We have France in the blue and Australia in the yellow. Here we go into the Plinko. They go. And Australia takes the quick lead into the first orange funnel. They go. Australia trying to catch up here, but France is able to overtake for the lead into those first stairs. Let's we'll see how many stairs they can catch ahead. Looks like five stairs ahead of Australia. Let's we'll see if Australia can gain any through this little section in between cases. No, they don't. And uh, Australia. Still pretty far behind, trying to catch up. Now they're finally in the same funnel as France. But France is pretty far ahead. And they're already about to exit this first yellow funnel. Australia now about in the same place that France was a couple seconds ago. And they're trying to still try and just contact France. France doing a pretty good job in this first match. And now they're entering the first blue funnel. And this is where Australia can make their move. Let's see if it happens right about now. And they do put a little bit of contact on France, and that slows them down a little bit there. France actually loses out to Australia there, but they come back with the hit, and France will overtake back for the lead, and look at the first point of this match. Australia's chance of getting two points are gone. Still playing tight up with France. They win this next match. And they are off through the plank Who comes out this time? It is France. But Australia is very close behind as well. Who will exit this first orange funnel? It's Australia. Australia trying to get a quick head start like France did in the last match. They still want to get that point. Because every point counts when you're in qualifying for the FIFA World Cup. France, four points behind Australia on the stairs. And now they both enter the first yellow funnel. And Australia is closer to the hole than France is for this first funnel, but France is trying to gain a little bit of ground. But gaining ground in these large yellow funnels is very difficult because contacts are rare. And that's why the blue funnel is so important. Australia is trying to get there as quickly as possible so they can have more time to exit the funnel before France can put any contacts on them. But it looks like they're not going to be able to avoid it. Here comes France, but they actually don't put much contact on until later in the funnel. And they are able to use that to exit the funnel first. And they are both in separate funnels. Who will exit first? It's France. We get both points in this match. And Australia will get zero. Let's see if this prediction is right in the real FIFA World Cup. We have Morocco and Croatia. Morocco is in the red. Croatia in the white with red stripes. And we are off into the plinko. They go. They both up for the right side. And it's Croatia who is in the lead. But here comes Morocco from the back into the orange funnel. And Morocco is able to overtake through that orange funnel and get to the stairs first. Two stairs separate Morocco from Croatia. As we go into the second stairs, let's see if Croatia can gain any ground. But no, they don't. Still two stairs behind. And Morocco is about to exit the stairs into the first yellow funnel. Let's see if Croatia can put any contacts on Morocco and possibly overtake through these yellow funnels. It is possible to overtake through these yellow funnels, but it's hard. It's easier to overtake through the uh, blue funnel after this section of the track. We'll have to see if Croatia makes any moves there. Morocco still in the lead through this second yellow funnel, and they exit first and are now headed to the blue funnel. Let's see if Croatia can catch up and possibly even overtake here. Here's where the most overtakes happens in this series. And there's a contact. They are neck and neck. Who will exit this blue funnel first? 
and is Morocco the first marble to get to the yellow funnels? Let's see if uh, Croatia can make any moves. They do right there. They're neck and neck. Croatia slowing down more than Morocco, but Morocco makes a pass, and they'll get the first point of the match. Croatia barely missing out. They had a good fight. They didn't get that first point. Let's see if they can get the second point here in this second match. They take a quick lead, but uh, through this orange funnel is usually where the lead holder gets replaced. And Morocco overtakes the lead from Croatia through that orange funnel. And now they're two stairs apart. Let's see if Croatia can make that down to one. And no, they don't. So there's still two uh, stairs behind Morocco. Morocco trying to just stay ahead of Croatia and get those two qualifying points. If they do get two qualifying points, that'll definitely help them in advancing to the next round of the World Cup. Croatia not able to do any moves in through that first yellow funnel. Morocco exits first. Now they're both in the second yellow funnel, but pretty separated. Even though they're in the same funnel, they're on different radiuses, which means that Morocco did exit first. Now they're in the blue funnel, trying to exit before Croatia can make any moves, and they've dodged Croatia altogether. They're out of the blue funnel and into the last yellow funnel, but here comes Croatia and a big hit there. Who will take the second point? Now they're neck and neck. Who will exit first? It is Croatia who will tie the game 1-1. So both of these teams will get one point. Germany in the black, Japan in the white. Here we go. And who will take the lead first? Looks like Germany will take the lead through that white funnel, but a hard hit from Japan in that orange funnel. And they are able to overtake through the lead into the stairs first. Germany still has quite a lot of momentum in that orange funnel. And they're a whole staircase behind Japan. This is the largest lead we've seen by a marble in this entire series so far. Japan doing a tremendous job in this race. Germany is having a very hard time catching up. Let's see if they can do anything in these next couple of funnels. They're in the same funnel at this point, but Japan now exiting, and Germany has a lot of catching up to do. As we go into the second funnel for Germany, Japan almost about to exit this second yellow funnel, going into the blue funnel. And pretty much at this point, the blue funnel is Germany's only hope. If Germany can get to the blue funnel before Japan exits, they can make a contact and level the playing field. Let's see if they do here. They're running out of time, and they do hit Japan there, and they're able to overtake for the lead. What a comeback by Germany. Will Japan be able to come back and overtake? No, they won't. And Germany, by surprise, will get the first point of the match. Definitely an unexpected finish. After having such a lead, Japan losing out. Now it's time for Heat 2. Let's see if Japan can redeem themselves and tie up this match. It is Germany who is in the slight lead into this orange funnel, but they're neck and neck. Let's see who exits the funnel first this time. It is Japan again exiting, but Germany very close behind. Only one step behind Japan this time. And this will be a very close match unless somehow one of these marbles makes a huge mistake. Germany wants that second point very badly. They were way too close for comfort in the last heat. And so they really want to make sure to have as good a chance as possible to get that second qualifying point in this match. Japan, though, losing out in that first match after having a full stair lead. They have a lot of pressure on their shoulders to do well in this second match and take this other point to tie up the game. But Germany does not want that to happen. As we exit the, first, or the second yellow funnel, Japan is in the blue funnel and they know what happened in the last match so they're trying to exit as quickly as possible but here comes Germany and a contact from them. Now they're neck and neck in this blue funnel. It looks like it's going to be a tight race in these last two funnels. And it is Germany who exits first being followed very closely by Japan. But Japan has more speed than Germany. I think Germany's going to take it. Yes they will. Germany 2-0. They will have the two points over Japan. We have Spain in the red and Costa Rica in the light blue white color and Costa Rica is able to take the lead this time and actually Spain having a little bit of lag through that white funnel it's unusual in this tournament we'll have to see how that affects their play and they are two steps behind Costa Rica as we enter the stairway and Costa Rica trying to gain more ground than they already have let's see if they do here no they don't still two stairs ahead of Spain who's trying all they can 
to just try and catch up to Costa Rica. And they do make a little bit of contact on Costa Rica in this first yellow funnel. But they need to make more contact if they need to overtake for first place. Costa Rica enters the second yellow funnel. Spain trying to catch up as well. This is for the first of two qualifying points. Whichever marble finishes first in this first race will be the only marble who has a chance of getting both qualifying points. Costa Rica enters the blue funnel, but here comes Spain, and this is where a major contact can happen, and they miss a little bit, but actually shove Costa Rica into the hole. A major mistake by Spain, but there they go and hit Costa Rica right back, and now they're neck and neck in this final yellow funnel. Costa Rica is able to re uh, retain the lead, and they'll take the first point of the match. One point to their name. Let's we'll we'll see if Spain can tie it up go through the plinko into this white funnel and again Spain has some trouble exiting that first white funnel but they're neck and neck in this orange funnel now and it looks like Spain is going to be able to exit first yes they do but here comes Costa Rica and Spain shoves them down the stairs two steps you might have a red card here I think the officials are looking it over but I don't think we have any offenses of the rules so Spain will continue to race in front of Costa Rica. Costa Rica lo lost even another stair through that second stairway. And so now they have a lot of uh, ground to cover. Spain in the second middle funnel now. Costa Rica trying to catch up. It looks like Spain is going to be able to get that second qualifying point unless somehow Costa Rica comes up in this blue funnel coming up next and hits Spain out of the way, which is very much possible as we get going here. Spain trying to get out of this blue funnel before Costa Rica can make it there. They might be able to. They do there. And now they're in the final yellow funnel. Now Costa Rica just has to get out of this blue funnel as quickly as possible. But I don't think it's going to matter. Spain will be your second winner of this match. It will be a tied game. One to one. So both of these countries will get one qualifying point for the advancement of this World Cup. So that's our prediction of this match. With Belgium in the red and Canada in the white. Here we go. And is Canada who comes out to the lead through that first Planko and white funnel. And now they're neck and neck in this orange funnel. And Belgium overtakes for the lead. Canada is two steps behind Belgium in this stairway. Let's we'll see if they can gain any ground in this little midsection in between stairways. And no, they don't. There's still two sections behind Belgium who is using their lead to try to get as close to the whole of these yellow funnels as possible. And Canada, of course, is trying to just make a contact on Belgium as they exit this first yellow funnel, entering the second yellow funnel. Canada coming up in here as well into the second yellow funnel, and they're running out of time. We've already passed the midway point of this first race in Belgium. Now entering the blue funnel. Let's see if Canada can make any comeback through this blue funnel. And uh, they're coming out around here. And they do make a contact on Belgium there. Now they're neck and neck through this blue funnel. Let's see who can exit first. And Belgium and Canada both exit nearly at the same time. And now it's a race through the line through these funnels. But Belgium is first. So they will get the first point of this match. And I'll definitely help them advance the next round of this World Cup. Of course, they want another point. And that's where this second round comes in. Kenda also wants a qualifying point. It could either be a tied game or Belgium could take both points. Let's see how this works out. And it is Canada who is almost a full stairway ahead of Belgium. A very significant lead by Canada. Belgium had a really hard time getting out of that first orange funnel. And now they're paying for it. Let's see if they can catch up and possibly even overtake Canada through the yellow funnels or the blue funnel. Or possibly even the last yellow funnel. And it is Canada who is exiting this first yellow funnel. Belgium has actually got a little bit of ground. And now they're exiting this sec uh, first yellow funnel. It did hesitate a little bit. They were circling so tightly next to the hole there that they took a little bit more time than you would think is necessary. But Canada has now entered the blue funnel. Here comes Belgium as well. And a contact by them and they overtake for the lead. Into the yellow funnel they go. Let's see if Canada can catch up. No, they won't. Belgium will take both points in this matchup. And that will help them qualify for the next round of the World Cup. And Canada finally finishes the World Cup.
We have Switzerland in the red and Cameroon in the green. And we are off. And it's Cameroon who comes out to the lead. But they actually are spending a lot of time in this white funnel. Pretty unusual in this type of tournament. We haven't seen that very much before. And they're both neck and neck now in this orange funnel. And who will come out first this time? It is Cameroon who enters the stairway first. Switzerland two stairs behind Cameroon. We'll see if they can catch up through this next section. Cameroon entering the second stairway now. Switzerland has lost a stair. And it'll be hard for them to catch up, but of course, the blue funnel is where everybody wants to watch because that is where the most action happens. Usually, the second place marble will hit the first place marble and overtake for the win, but that doesn't guarantee a first place. It is still Cameroon in first place in that second funnel. Switzerland just now entering the second funnel as well. And Cameroon trying to stay away from Switzerland. And they are taking a long time to exit that second funnel. That'll lose them some ground. And now Switzerland will have some time to come in contact with Cameroon in this blue funnel. Let's see what happens here. Here comes Switzerland. And they actually aren't able to hit Cameroon. Cameroon does a great job at avoiding Switzerland. And now we're at the final funnel. Cameroon in there, but here comes Switzerland. But they aren't able to pass Cameroon, who gets the first point of the match. Switzerland still has one more chance to get the point and tie this game. We'll have to see if they're able to end the second race. And they are off Cameroon, quick exit. And they kind of bypass that Plinko on the left side. And now they're both in the white funnel. And it is Switzerland who comes out first, but here comes Cameroon as well, pushing uh, Switzerland away. And that lets them exit first. And the first one to get into the stair, but they're only one stair ahead of Switzerland. Let's we'll see if Switzerland can catch up in this next week of stairs. And they aren't able to. Still one stair behind Cameroon, but they're very close. This may cause some problems for Cameroon in these funnels. If Switzerland is able to pass through these funnels, they may be able to tie this game. They're very close to Cameroon. Cameroon is able to exit first, and that gives them a couple seconds of advantage in the second funnel. But if Switzerland can contact them, that would change everything. But they're having a hard time doing so. As Cameroon is about to exit the second yellow funnel and about to enter the first blue funnel. On this white rail, and they're stuck. They're stuck on the rail. Switzerland has a wild card. And now they are neck and neck with Cameroon. And they're both funneling in this blue funnel. Who will exit first? It looks like Cameroon. But here comes Switzerland as well. Cameroon will be the first one to exit. Followed by Switzerland. And now they're both in this final funnel. Who will exit first? And they're circling and circling. And it is Switzerland who will tie the game with Cameroon. Both of these models get one qualifying point. That is our prediction for this match of the World Cup. We have Uruguay in the blue and South Korea in the more clearish color as we go into the first white funnel. It is Uruguay who comes out to lead South Korea though, not far behind. And I think they may be able to overtake through this orange funnel. Yes, they do into the first stairway. Uruguay about two stairs behind South Korea as we go up these staircases. Let's see if Korea can gain any more stairs over Uruguay. And they do just by a little bit. Uruguay loses out one stair. Now there's three stairs behind South Korea as we go up into this first yellow funnel. Can Uruguay make contact on South Korea? It's not looking like it at this point. South Korea has exited the first yellow funnel, entering the second one. And Uruguay is still in the first, barely now just exiting the first one. And now they're both in this second funnel, racing, trying to get to that hole first. South Korea is closer though. And they'll be the first marble to get into the next blue funnel. Can Uruguay make a comeback in this next blue funnel? We're about to find out. South Korea is trying to get out as quickly as possible before Uruguay makes any contacts. And they do right there. Now the playing field has been leveled and they are the first ones to get out of that blue funnel. South Korea has some catching up to do. Can they make a contact in this last yellow funnel? No, they won't. And it will be a comeback story for Uruguay. It's the first point of the match. And let's see if South Korea can tie it up for one more game. 
and they're off to the pinto they go they both go for the left side and uruguay is able to get to this orange funnel first let's see if they can exit before south korea can even get out of this white funnel not quite and, and south korea does give some contact to uruguay and they overpass through that orange funnel there so now they're three or four stairs ahead of uruguay to go into this orange section into the second stairway uruguay still four steps behind south korea can Uruguay have another comeback like they did in the last match? We're about to find out as we go into these yellow funnels. And they even overpass South Korea through these yellow funnels. It's difficult, but not impossible. South Korea, though, still trying to get that one point and keep it away from Uruguay. Because if Uruguay get it, of course, it's two points. And they're both spinning around this funnel. South Korea a little bit closer to the hole. And they'll be the first one to exit. And now they know how important it is to get out of this blue funnel as quickly as possible. I don't think it's going to be quick enough though. Because here comes Uruguay. And they do give another shove to South Korea. And again overtake for the lead into this final yellow funnel. Can South Korea do better than they did in the last match? They do there. And Uruguay still is able to overpass and take it for the second point of the match. South Korea completely demolished Portugal in the green and Ghana in the white. We are about to start and we are off. And who come out first? It is Ghana. But in this orange funnel, usually the first marble is the last marble. Because that, as right as we saw right there, Ghana overtook quickly through that first orange funnel. And they're going to gain an entire stairs length ahead of Portugal. They're already to the second staircase just as Portugal is entering the first one. This is the largest lead we have seen in the entirety of this season so far. Let's see if Portugal can even catch up a little bit to Ghana. They will be able to get into the same funnel as Ghana. They can see them, but not for very long. There goes Ghana into the second funnel with the major lead. But as we all know, the blue funnel is where everything can change. Will Portugal be able to have a major comeback in this next blue funnel? We're about to find out. Ghana going into this blue funnel. Their only hope is to get out of this blue funnel before Portugal can get there. It looks like they're doing a good job at slowing down. And they are able to exit the blue funnel first. They're in the final funnel. I don't think Portugal is going to be able to catch up. Ghana circling for the final time. And they will have the first point of the day. Portugal, unfortunately, was just not able to catch up after that detrimental loss in the first orange funnel. It's really messed up their game. Let's see if they can tie it out one-to-one -one in the next race. And they are, are off through the Plinko section they go. And again, Portugal is the first one to get out of that white funnel and first into the orange funnel. But let's see if Ghana can do the same thing they did in the last heat. They're pretty neck and neck, and I think... Yeah, Ghana is still ahead, but this time Portugal one step behind Ghana. And so the playing field is very even. And Portugal still has a chance of getting one point over Ghana. As we go up the second staircase, entering these yellow funnels. We'll see what Portugal can do. Possibly even make a contact. They do right there. And we may have an overtake happening in this yellow funnel. Yes, we do. Portugal has overtaken for the lead in these yellow funnels now they have to fend off Ghana in the blue funnel which is going to be very difficult especially when these two marbles are so close together on this track they're pretty speedy through those rails and now time is ticking before Ghana gets there can they leave the funnel before Ghana can put any contact on them no they won't and here comes Ghana back for an overtake and they have retaken the lead through the blue funnel but here comes Portugal right back in this yellow funnel they're neck and neck and I don't think that Portugal will be able to overtake though Ghana will get two points and Portugal will get zero so Ghana will get the qualifying point cup we have Brazil in the yellow and Serbia in the orange here we go through the Plinko who will come out first it's Brazil so we'll get out of that white funnel first being followed very closely by Serbia as we enter this orange funnel Brazil is able to hold the lead through that orange funnel pretty unusual because usually the second marble is the one to exit out of that orange funnel just because of the speed that they enter they usually hit the other marble from behind knocking them out of orbit as we go into these staircases Serbia almost a full staircase behind Brazil let's see if they can catch up through these funnels 
Brazil. Pretty close to that hole. Probably will exit in a couple seconds. And there they go into the second funnel. Serbia still having some trouble catching up. But of course, the blue funnel is where it all changes. Let's see if they can catch up through the blue funnel, which Brazil is about to enter as they exit this yellow funnel here. There they go into these rails, into the blue funnel. Can Serbia catch up? Brazil has limited time to get out of this funnel before Serbia gets there. Because if Serbia gets there, that what's happened there? Serbia is stuck on the track. And Brazil gets a get out of jail free card. They have officially gotten one point. Serbia will get a DNF for the first time in this se season. We have a DNF. Serbia stuck in the track. Very surprising finish. Let's see if Serbia can redeem themselves in this second heat. They exit the white funnel first. We'll see if Brazil can come and overtake through this orange funnel. They do give a little hit to Serbia and they are able to pass but now they're stuck underneath the orange funnel. And that means Serbia pushes them right along and they're on the same stairs and Serbia is able to overtake through the stairs. Serbia making a comeback for themselves as we go into these stairs. They're still very close behind though. This is going to be a tight match. Only one stair behind. Let's see if Brazil can't do anything crazy in these funnels. They're neck and neck in this funnel. I'm not even sure who's going to make it first. It's Serbia by a millimeter. Let's get into this second funnel. So close together. I can't even tell who's ahead. Serbia really wants the second win after a DNF. Brazil's over to, able to overtake. And this time, Serbia does not get stuck, and they will enter the blue funnel like they should have in the last round. And they overtake, going into the final funnel. And I think they're going to be able to get the second uh, point of the day, unless somehow Brazil is able to overtake. And they do! Brazil, a move from the inside, and they will take two points over Serbia, who have zero in this match. What a crazy match! And that is our prediction. We have Wales in the white, Iran in the white with colors through it. We'll get started with the first race. We'll come out first, it's Iran. Here comes Wales and they have a, a smaller diameter through that white funnel. They will take the lead in this orange funnel. But here comes Iran as well. And they give a bump to Wales and they will take the lead to the first staircase. Here comes Wales as well and they're two steps behind Iran as we go into this next section. Let's see if Wales can gain any ground. No, they don't. They actually lose a stair from Iran. Now they have some work to do if they want to catch back up and get more points here in the World Cup. In our last prediction, Wales got one point and Iran got zero. We'll have to see if our prediction is right this time. We'll keep going here with this match. And is Iran still in the lead? Wales coming in at second. Let's see if they can catch up through this uh, yellow funnel. Iran is the first to exit, getting into the blue funnel. Let's see if Wales can do any damage as they get to the blue funnel as well. And Iran is trying to get out as quickly as possible. But here comes Wales and a bump from them. And I think they're going to be able to overpass for the lead. Yes, they will into the yellow funnel. But here comes Iran right behind them. It'll be a race to the line. Who's going to make it first? It will be Wales who get the first point of this match. Iran will get none. And they have one more chance to do so in the next race. And they are off. Who will come out this time? It is Iran. Do that first white funnel. Very quick uh, entrance. Do that white funnel for uh, Iran. Wales caught off guard there. He's going to these first stairs. And again, Iran two steps ahead of Wales as we go into the second staircase. Let's see if anything changes. Still the same. Iran two steps ahead of Wales as we go into the yellow funnels. Let's see if Wales can catch up through these yellow funnels and get two points in this match. They're pretty close. They're neck and neck, but Iran slightly ahead and they enter the second yellow funnel first. But here comes Wales as well. But they're going to come up and pressure Iran do this second funnel. Iran, though, really not in a very good place. Because when you're in first place in these yellow funnels, 
that means you have to enter the blue funnel first and that's where second marble can really come and make it come back here comes whales into the blue funnel let's see if they can make any moves they do right there but iran is able to get out of trouble fast and now they're in the last funnel let's see if whales can catch up and they have a hard hit to iran there and whales takes the second point iran will get no points in this match and whales will get two that is our prediction for the real matchup in the world cup in our previous prediction videos both of these teams both had one point to their name let's see if that is any different in this prediction video and it is senegal who comes out to the lead through the stairs the guitar is losing ground quick there are a whole staircase behind senegal the hosts of the 2022 world cup are not doing very well in this game so far let's see if they can catch up to the funnels as we get going here and finally getting to the funnel senegal is already about to leave this first yellow funnel guitar he's got a long ways to go if he wants to even try to overtake senegal senegal might even be able to get out of the blue funnel before Qatar can even get there they're so far behind here goes senegal out of the second yellow funnel into the rails and into the blue funnel let's we'll see if they can get out before Qatar can get there it's going to be close and here comes Qatar, but they aren't able to, and they make a huge comeback, and now they're in the lead. Senegal has been pushed aside, and they're still in the blue funnel. Qatar trying to get into this hole there, and they get the first point of this match. Let's see if they can redeem themselves from their last showing in the last match that they had in the World Cup. Now it's time for race two. They're pretty neck and neck through the Plinko, but Senegal has a quick exit out of that yellow or white funnel. And Qatar now just getting out of that white funnel. Now they level the playing field with Senegal in this orange funnel. Let's see if we can get out first. It is Qatar who gets out first, and they're about two steps ahead of Senegal. And let's see if Qatar can get a 2 0 sweep. We enter the second stairway. It's Senegal still two steps behind Qatar not that far but still not super close as we get going here into the first yellow funnel they're pretty close i think there may have been a contact between senegal and qatar qatar is able to exit the funnel first but senegal is not far behind now they're in the second yellow funnel let's see if senegal can catch up to qatar possibly even make a contact so close right there they aren't able to do it. Qatar exiting the yellow funnel first, but now they are in danger because they're in the blue funnel. Let's see if Senegal can make any moves here or if Qatar can get out of the way quick. And here comes Senegal. Will they make a move? Yes, they will. A hard hit to Qatar. And now Senegal is in this last yellow funnel. Will Qatar be able to catch up? I don't think so. But here they go there, and they do catch up. Who's going to exit first? And it is Senegal who's able to exit first. A crazy finish. It'll be tied 1-1. With the Netherlands in the blue, Ecuador in the yellowish green color. As we get going here, Ecuador comes out to the lead first. The Netherlands having a hard time in that white funnel. Let's see if we can get out of this orange funnel first. Looks like the Netherlands are going to be out first. In our previous matches with these two teams, both teams got one point in their match. Let's see if that's any different in this match. Let's see if one of them can get two in this prediction video. And the Netherlands one step ahead of Ecuador as we get to the top of the staircase. See if Ecuador can do anything in this yellow funnel. Netherlands a tighter spin, but here comes Ecuador and a little bit of contact there. The Netherlands are still able to get out first. Ecuador very close behind though. We get into the second funnel. We do have some contacts in these yellow funnels, which is unusual in these styles of races and the Netherlands is able to get out of this yellow funnel first into the blue funnel but here comes Ecuador and let's see what they can do and a big hit from Ecuador and this uh, quick exit for them into the last funnel but here comes the Netherlands as well and it's a race to the line who will get there first and it will be the Netherlands who will be the first point winner of this match Ecuador has, still has one chance get one point. One of the Netherlands can get a two 
point lead over Ecuador. Ecuador could have zero. As we get going with the second race, Ecuador and the Netherlands both in this orange funnel now, neck and neck. But I think the Netherlands will get out first. They have more oblong uh, rotation there. And that allows them to get one step ahead of Ecuador up the staircase. We'll see if anything changes in the second staircase. No, not yet. Those Netherlands are still in the lead. And we'll see who can come out on top through these yellow funnels and then the blue funnel. Ecuador pretty close behind the Netherlands. They're neck and neck here, but the Netherlands are a little bit ahead. We may have had a contact right there. Netherlands are going to be exiting the first yellow funnel first into the second yellow funnel. We can get uh, Ecuador in there as well. The Netherlands are ahead, but that's not necessarily a good thing in this stage in the race. You really want to be behind because that's when you can attack the front opponent in this blue funnel. Let's see if Ecuador can do it well here. And there's a hard hit from Ecuador. And now they're both neck and neck in this blue funnel. I think Ecuador will be able to exit first. Yes, they do into the yellow funnel. And here comes the Netherlands as well, though. And they do a hit as well. Will the Netherlands get a 2-0? They're spinning around neck and neck. Who will it be? And it will be the Netherlands who will get two points in this match. Ecuador will get zero. That is our prediction for this match here at the World Cup. USA clear with blue. England white with blue. And we are off. We will come out first. It's the USA. See if they can get out of this one tunnel before England can put any pressure on them. No, they won't. Now England I believe will uh, start us off. No, it's the USA. Surprising. Usually the first marble get into that first orange funnel. It's the last marble to leave it. But as we get going up the staircase, they're one step apart. Let's see if England can catch up to the USA in these next two funnels. But actually, the USA is in the worst position because of the blue funnel that's coming up soon. But they're really, really close in this yellow funnel. There may be some overtaking happening here by England as they circle around this final circle and England does overtake for the lead. Let's see if the USA can't take it back. But actually, the USA doesn't mind that they have lost the lead because now they can put some pressure on England in the infamous blue funnel. England is the first to get to the blue funnel, but let's see what the USA can do as well as they come in through the rails. Let's see what they do. A hard hit to England. And a quick pass for the USA into the last yellow funnel. England regretting their decision to pass the USA in those yellow funnels earlier. And now they have to make up for it. Let's see if they can pass the USA here. The USA gets a little bump from England. And I think England might be able to take it. Yes, they will. England has made up for their mistake. And will take the first point of the match. Let's see if the USA can tie it up. Into the plinko they go. They're neck and neck. And they both really close into that orange funnel. And it will be England who get out first. But they're both on the stairs. England shoves the USA down a stair. So now USA has to make up one stair from England. They go up the second staircase. They're going to be neck and neck in these yellow funnels. USA actually likes their position though because then they can uh, go into the blue funnel with confidence instead of trying to rush and try to get out of the blue funnel before somebody behind them comes and rams them out of the way. And so here goes England into the second yellow funnel. USA close behind. They don't want to get too far behind though because they want to make sure England is in that blue funnel when they get there. England about to exit the second yellow funnel into the blue funnel they go. USA waits just a little bit. And now they're going to start going into the blue funnel as well. Let's see if they can make a contact on England. Yes, they do. Now they're neck and neck. Let's see if USA can overtake and get a point over England. And they're slowing down. England's actually able to get out first. And now they're both in this ye uh, final yellow funnel. Let's see if we can exit first. I think it possibly could be England. Or it could be the USA. They're neck and neck. And the USA will get the second point of the match. It will be a tied match for who will win the match in the World World Cup. Now it's time for Australia versus Tunisia. Here we go. Australia in the yellow, Tunisia in the white and red. And they're in the first half pipes. 
a new feature here at the World Cup we haven't seen yet before. And now they go through the uh, xylophone section. There's multiple lanes after those half pipes that these marbles can choose from. Australia down out of that first white funnel into the first tan funnel. And Tunisia is trying to catch up, but they aren't able to do Australia now in the second hand funnel. Here comes Tunisia, though, and contact from them. them. Now they're neck and neck in this second funnel. Who will come out first? It will be Tunisia who will overtake for the lead by a second. And here comes Australia, though. They're trying to come and overtake back for the lead, and they do right there. Tunisia has some trouble, and they're going to have to do some catching up, especially if Australia can get out of this uh, funnel right there like they just did. Now Tunisia has to get even farther up to even catch up to Australia because they're a whole staircase ahead of, of Tunisia. Into these final four orange funnels. Can Australia hold the lead or will Tunisia be able to catch up? They aren't able to catch up through that first orange funnel. But every time they enter a new funnel, there's a new chance for Tunisia to put a contact on Australia. But Australia has done a very good job at avoiding contacts in the first two funnels. Here comes Tunisia, and there's a contact there. And just like that, uh, Tunisia is in the lead. Australia is running out of time to catch up, and there's a contact there. They're neck and neck. It'll be a race to the line. Australia will take it back, and they will be the winner of this match. And that is our prediction for the real World Cup match. Australia will win, and Tunisia will lose. Now it's time for our second match here in this video. We have Poland versus Saudi Arabia. Which country will win in this match? We're about to find out. Let's see which marble takes which path in this second race. Saudi Arabia takes the xylophone and Poland takes the more straight path. They're both in this large white funnel. Who comes out first is Saudi Arabia. Poland coming up close behind though into the first hand funnel. Can they pass through this funnel? Yes, they do right there. A good move by Poland. Now Saudi Arabia has to catch up a little bit here. And there's a contact from them. And now they're going to overtake through this second funnel into the third tan funnel. Can Poland come and overtake yet again? Now Saudi Arabia is trying to dodge there. And they're able to exit the funnel quickly. Here comes Poland though. And they do a contact there. And now I think they're going to be able to exit first. Yes, they do. Up into the staircase. And here comes Saudi Arabia. Only one step behind. Now they're going to have... A very tight race in these last four orange funnels. And Saudi Arabia does overtake for the lead in the first orange funnel. But here comes Poland for the second funnel. Saudi Arabia is able to exit without any contacts. A good strategy by them. Let's we'll see if they can hold it. No, they don't there. Poland contacts Saudi Arabia in the third funnel. And it overtakes in the final funnel. Let's we'll see if Saudi Arabia can do anything in response. No, they can't. And Poland will be the winner of this match. And Saudi Arabia will be the loser. That is our prediction for this match of the World Cup. Now it's time for match three. We have France versus Denmark, two European countries. Let's see who will come out on top in this race. And they're off. France on the left, Denmark on the right. Who will take which path? on this half pipe section. And France goes into the middle. Denmark goes onto the right. And Denmark takes the quicker path this time. And now they're in the white funnel, quite ahead of France. And they enter the tan funnel first. But here comes France. And they're trying to come up there and they do a contact on Denmark. They're neck and neck through this first tan funnel. And France is able to overtake the lead. But Denmark is close behind. This is a close race. And it is Denmark who takes the lead in the second funnel. France is coming up now, and they take the lead through the third funnel. And now Denmark will see if they can take the lead back through the final or a tan funnel. And they aren't able to. France going up the staircase. Every step they go is one step farther ahead of Denmark. Denmark has a lot of catching up to do. About a, a, a staircase and a half behind France. Let's see if they can make any contacts here. No, they don't. So let's see if France can get out of this second funnel before Denmark can get there. They look pretty similar in terms of radius of spin. And France is able to get into that third funnel. Denmark trying all they can to catch up and just make a contact on France. But they're already to the final funnel. I don't, don't think that Denmark will be able to catch up. No, they won't. France will be the winner of this match. Denmark will lose. 
And that is our prediction for the third match of the day here at the World Cup. Denmark still hasn't finished. Denmark may lose not just a little bit, but by a lot here at this World Cup. Now it's time for the final match. Argentina versus Mexico. Two rivals in the football world. Let's see which country will win this match. And they are off. Mexico on the right, Argentina on the left. Who will be able to exit this half pipe first? And it will be Mexico. They go into the center. Let's see if Argentina will join them. Going back and forth, Argentina takes the xylophone into the white funnel. So they're a little bit quicker than Mexico because Mexico had to go through two half pipes and Argentina only had to go through one. So they are in the first hand funnel. But here comes Mexico as well. And now they are neck and neck in this first hand funnel. Mexico is able to get out first. Here comes Argentina as well as we are in the second hand funnel. Argentina will overtake for the lead in that second funnel. Can Mexico catch back up and overtake through this third funnel? They do right there. And now they are in the fourth funnel. Good move by Mexico. These tan funnels in succession seem to have a lot of overtakes because each time Marvel passes, Marvel behind them uh, passes them right back in the next funnel. A very interesting dynamic in this race. As we get into the orange funnel, Argentina is still in the lead. Mexico coming up from behind, trying to make a contact, but they just aren't able to do it. But they are able to exit the funnel first. But here comes Argentina, and they have a very long spiral. And that means that they get to exit first. And they are one funnel ahead of Mexico. Will Mexico be able to come up and overtake in this final funnel? It's not looking like it's going to happen. Argentina will be the winner of this final match of the day. And Mexico, unfortunately, will be the loser of this match. That's our prediction for the final match of the day of the World Cup. Uh, win in this match and they are off Japan in the white Costa Rica in the red as we go into these first half pipes who will exit the half pipe first and which side will they exit Coast er, uh, Japan goes into the left side through the xylophone and they're already into the tan funnel and Costa Rica quick through that second half pipe into the white funnel now they're trying to just catch up to Japan before they exit and they aren't able to Japan now in the second tan funnel Costa Rica has some catching up to do. And there goes Japan into the third tan funnel. Costa Rica having some trouble here. They aren't able to catch up to Japan because if they were able to, they'd be able to make a contact and possibly even overtake if they were even in the same funnel. But Japan is just staying so far ahead that Costa Rica can't even get close. There goes Japan up the staircase. And Costa Rica hasn't even exited this funnel. Japan probably two staircases ahead of Costa Rica can Costa Rica catch up in this orange funnel they're in the same funnel for less than three seconds before Japan exits that funnel Costa Rica has gained a little bit of ground though each time they get closer to the hole so does Japan but there's a quick exit by Costa Rica now the playing field is leveled and now Costa Rica comes up there and overtakes for the lead in this last funnel but here comes Japan in a crazy finish by Japan and they will be the winner of this match. What a crazy race. Japan coming at the last second when it looked like Costa Rica was going to win. But Japan is the winner. And that is our prediction for the first match of the four matches for the World Cup. Now it's time for match two. We have Morocco and Belgium. Morocco in the white, Belgium in the red. As we go here and they actually switch sides after that starting gate. An unusual occurrence. Here at the World Cup. Well, let's see who can come out first. Morocco goes into that center half pipe. Let's see what Belgium do, does. Belgium goes to the left. Through the xylophone and into the white funnel. But here comes Morocco as well. Morocco still a little bit to go though. Out of this yellow funnel. And there they go into the tan funnel with Belgium. And a contact there. And they will overtake for the lead through the first tan funnel. Into the second one they go. Morocco coming up now from behind. And they contact... And they have a overtaken in the second funnel. See Morocco can catch up here and overtake yet again. 
like we saw in the last video. No, they don't. Belgium is still able to keep the lead. Morocco only has one more chance before they get to the stairs to overtake for the lead. And they do there. Bel Belgium is now still stuck in the tan funnel, about half a staircase behind Morocco. Let's see if they can catch up in these last four funnels. And they're close behind Morocco there. I think they've overtaken for the lead. Yes, they do. And now they're going to exit quickly through the second orange funnel. Now they're a whole funnel ahead of Morocco. Morocco only has a little bit more time before uh, Belgium finishes this entire race. But anything is possible, as we saw with Japan in the last race. Let's see if Morocco can't do anything crazy here in this last funnel. Belgium circling for the final time. And they are able to win this race. Morocco unable to finish before Belgium gets there. So Belgium will be the winner of this match. And that will be our prediction for this match of the World Cup. Our next match will have Croatia versus Canada. Here we go. And they're off. Who will come out first? Cro Croatia. Crazy move there. They were stuck on the half pipe. They didn't move for a fraction of a second. They actually lo uh, lost a lot of momentum, which had to let them uh, get out of the half pipe quick. Now they're in the tan funnel. And here comes Canada finally getting into that white funnel. Uh, and into the tan funnel they go. And into the second tan funnel. Croatia was contacted by Canada in that first funnel. But they were able to get out of there quick. But here comes Canada now, and they overtake for the lead through the second funnel. Here comes Croatia right back. This is a tight race in the tan funnel sector. Croatia in the lead now. Canada close behind the contact there. Let's see if Canada can catch up. They do there and overtake for the lead through the final funnel. Up the staircase they go. Croatia, a whole staircase behind Canada. But still, they can catch up through these last couple of funnels if they do the correct strategy. And they do contact there. And they're able to exit first. Canada now has some catching up to do. They're about a funnel ahead. It's taking twice as long as it normally does to get out of that funnel for Canada. Let's see if Canada can make any contacts here. It looks like they're a little bit closer. No, they aren't. They both leave their funnel at the same time. And there goes Croatia. And they finish the race. And they'll be the winner of this match. Canada still circling around in that final funnel. They'll be the loser of this match. And that is our prediction for the next match of the World Cup in Qatar. Now it's time for our final match. Our final match will be Germany versus Spain. Which country will be the victor of this final match of the day? We'll have to see. Germany in the black, Spain in the red. As we go into these half pipes, Let's see which sides they choose. Germany goes into the center, and they are the first ones to get to the large white funnel. And Spain is still stuck in that half pipe, now just barely getting out. Germany already in the first hand funnel. And here comes Spain. Let's see if they can make any contacts. They're very close, and they do right there. And they're able to overtake for the lead through the first funnel. Into the second funnel they go, and they're neck and neck, and I think Germany will overtake through the second funnel. Yes, they do. And they'll see if Germany can hold it or if Spain will overtake for the lead in this third funnel. And Germany is still able to hold it. And Spain is still stuck in the third tan funnel. But here they go. And a hard hit from Spain there. And they overtake for the lead in that final funnel before the staircase. Up the staircase they go. Germany a whole staircase behind Spain as we enter these orange funnels. Four funnels to go. Spain in the lead. But here comes Germany. And they overtake for the lead into the second funnel. Will Spain be able to catch up in these final couple of funnels? There they go into the second funnel, but Germany is able to get to the third funnel. Here comes Spain, another contact there, and Spain overtakes for the lead in that second to last funnel, and now they're in the final funnel. Can Germany overtake in this last funnel? They're racing to the line. Who will it be? And it will be Germany who will overtake at the last second over Spain. A great move by Germany and Spain will lose this match to Germany to be the winner. This is Serbia. Cameroon in the green, Serbia in the red. Here we go. And they go into the half pipes for the first time. 
will be Cameroon who will enter the center half pipe. That's actually a slower route compared to the other two routes. And but they actually get out quick. They're the first one into the white funnel. But here comes Serbia close behind. And they overtake through that white funnel into the first tan funnel. But here comes Cameroon as well. And now they're neck and neck in this tan funnel. A, a contact there. And now Cameroon thought was going to overtake there. But Serbia is just able to hold on. Cameroon so close behind, and there's the overtake into the third hand funnel. But there's a hard hit from Serbia, and they're right back in the lead. Neck and neck, and they keep overtaking back and forth through these funnels up into the staircase. And Serbia is two stairs ahead of Cameroon. Into the final four orange funnels. They're both in the same funnel, but Serbia is closer to the hole. And they are able to get out quick before Cameroon can do anything drastic. And here comes Cameroon as well, though. But Serbia is already down to the second to last funnel. And they're going quick. They're in the final funnel. And they finish with a bang. Cameroon not even close. A amazing finish by Serbia. They were in that funnel for no less than three seconds. That was an amazing performance by Serbia. And definitely will be an inspiration for a lot of teams to come. So that will be our prediction for the first match of the day here at the World Cup. Next up we have Ghana versus South Korea. Comment down below which team will win in this match. And they're off. South Korea in the clear type marble and Ghana with the green into the half pipes they go. And South Korea, the first one, exit that section of the track into the white funnel. And here comes Ghana as well. But South Korea is already out of the white funnel. And if they can get out of this tan funnel before Ghana gets there, that'll be a great help to them. But they aren't able to. Ghana, a hard hit there. Now they're neck and neck in this tan funnel. And Ghana is able to overtake for the lead. But South Korea, uh, very close behind as we go into the second funnel. Ghana still in the lead. South Korea, pretty much neck and neck. And they overtake for the lead there. But now they have some uh, lead on Ghana. Can they exit first? They do there. Barely missing out on uh, Ghana, who's trying to hit them in that last hand funnel. But they weren't able to do it as we go into the staircase. Almost the whole staircase behind South Korea. Ghana has a lot of catching up to do. Let's see if they can do anything in this first orange funnel. And there goes South Korea into the second orange funnel. Can Ghana make a comeback? And put a contact on South Korea. There goes South Korea out of the second funnel just as Ghana gets there. Ghana missed out their chance in that funnel. Now they only have two more funnels to go. And there goes South Korea yet again. There's one more funnel. Ghana is running out of time to win this match. And they aren't able to do it. Less than a second apart. And it will be South Korea who will be the victor of this match. And Ghana will be the loser that is our prediction for the second match of the day here at the world cup now it's time for match three switzerland versus brazil switzerland in the white brazil in the yellow here we go and they both go on the same side unusual for this track and Switzerland is able to get out to lead, but not by much. Here comes Brazil as well as they circle in this white funnel. Into the tan funnel they go. They're neck and neck. Who will come out on top and be the leader through this second funnel? It is Brazil. Let's see if Switzerland can make a contact in the second funnel. They do right there. Let's see if they can overtake into the third funnel. And there goes Switzerland into the third funnel. Brazil now has to catch up a little bit here. And these four funnels, the lead usually is swapped back and forth multiple times because when you get the lead the marble behind you has the advantage because they can contact from behind and speed you up in that funnel like as we saw right there it is switzerland one step ahead of brazil let's see who will come out on top in these final orange funnels there goes brazil and they think they have made a contact there and they have it overtaken for the lead into the second orange funnel I think they're going to exit before Switzerland can even get there. Yes, they do. Now they're in the third funnel. Only one and a half funnels to go. Switzerland is running out of time. Brazil in the final funnel. Switzerland not able to make it. And Brazil will be the winner of the third match of the day. And Switzerland will not 
That is our prediction for the third match of the day here at the World Cup. Did you comment correctly? Well, I hope so. Brazil definitely celebrating after that victory. But now it is time for the final match of the day here at the World Cup on Fubeca's Marble Rounds. Our final match will be Portugal versus Uruguay. Portugal in the green, Uruguay in the blue. Who will come out on top? And they're off. It is Portugal in the lead. And they both go on the left side like we saw in the last match. And they're both in this center lane. Very close together. And will be Portugal who has the slight lead. But Uruguay is not one to mess around with as we go into this tan funnel. They're still neck and neck. Can Uruguay overtake for the lead? No, they don't in that first funnel. But here they come and to the second funnel. They're still neck and neck, and Uruguay overtakes the lead to the second funnel. Let's see if Portugal can catch up. No, they don't there. Uruguay is actually able to get to the final funnel before Portugal can even do anything about it. And they're going into the staircase now. Portugal still in this tan funnel. Uruguay is gaining a massive lead over Portugal. Into the first orange funnel they go. Portugal only halfway up the staircase. into the first orange funnel. Uruguay trying to dodge Portugal, but they are able to. Portugal is able to overtake for the lead to the second funnel, and there's some crazy contacts there, and I think Uruguay is going to be able to take it back. Yes, they do, but Portugal is close behind, but Uruguay is able to get there, but thus so is Portugal. There'll be a race to the line. Portugal will take it at the last second. An insanely close finish, but it was Portugal will be the winner of the final match of the day here at the World Cup versus Senegal. Senegal in the green, Ecuador in the yellow, and we're off into the half pipes. They go. Who will come out on first? It is Senegal who goes into the center lane through the half pipe. And here comes Ecuador close behind as we go into this white funnel. Who will come out on top? It is still Senegal as we go into the first hand funnel. Here comes Ecuador. They're able to overtake for the lead in that first hand funnel into the second one and there's a contact from Senegal and they retake the lead back into the third funnel here comes Ecuador right back and really as we go into these uh, small tan funnels the lead is an easy commodity but as we go up into the staircase and into these orange funnels the commodity gets less and less easy to obtain as we go up into this first orange funnel it is still Senegal in the lead now into the second funnel can Ecuador take it back they may be able to and there's it goes right there and they're back in the lead Senegal only has two more chances to take the lead and there's one of them right there and they are able to do it and they go out of that last funnel with a bang and they will take this match and Ecuador will be the loser so Senegal will win this match of the World Cup. That is our prediction for the first match of the day here on Quebec's Marble Runs and over at the World Cup. Now it's time for match two. We have Qatar versus the Netherlands. And we are off Qatar in the red, the Netherlands in the yellow gold color as we go into these half pipes. And Qatar going through that xylophone, and they're already in the white funnel. The Netherlands is trying to catch up, but they aren't able to. And Qatar is in the first hand funnel. Here comes the Netherlands as well. And Qatar is able to get out of there quick. And now the Netherlands has some catching up to do. And there goes Qatar into the third hand funnel. They're still in the lead. The Netherlands is still trying to get that lead, but they're having a really hard time. Qatar is doing a fantastic job. At keeping the lead in these tan funnels, which is very difficult to do. As we go into up the staircase. Staircase seems to have been overpowered a little bit in this race. And these marbles are having a harder time getting up the stairs. And the Netherlands coming up here both in that orange funnel. And the Netherlands are, are able to overtake for the lead. And now they're in the lead into the last funnel. Qatar is running out of time to take back the lead. The host of the World Cup and they will not win this match. They did not win the first match of the World Cup. Being the host of this World Cup, that was definitely a def devastating blow for them. And our prediction is they won't win this match either versus the Netherlands. 
Now it's time for match three. The USA versus Iran. The USA in the blue, Iran in the white with colors swirling all throughout as we go into the half pipes. And Iran is able to exit first into the second half pipe, which I would think is the slower route just because that you have to go through two half pipes, which is a pretty long element. And USA is able to overtake because they take the xylophone lane. As we go into the first hand funnel, here comes Iran as well. And they are able to overtake for the lead into the second funnel. And here comes the USA as well. And they do the same thing Iran just did to them as we've seen many times before in these funnels. They're neck and neck in this third funnel, but I, the USA gets to go out first. As we go into the final tan funnel, Iran overtakes the lead into the staircase. Here comes the USA as well. And they are able to over almost catch up to Iran through that staircase. A very rare occurrence for that element. And Iran is able to uh, keep the lead, but almost lose it out there from the USA. As we go into the final funnel, Iran in the final funnel. The USA has barely any time left, and they are able to do it. Iran will be the winner of this match and the USA will be the loser. That is our prediction for the third match of the day here on Quebec's Marvel Runs. And hopefully that's what will happen in the Rio World Cup. Now it's time for the final match. England versus Wales. Wales in the pure white. England in the white with blue stripes. And Wales is able to get out first. Both neighboring countries on the same aisles as we go into the first tan funnel. Wales has a pretty significant lead, but here comes England as well, but they aren't able to make any moves. Can Wales get out of the second funnel before uh, England gets there? Yes, they do. And England is having a very hard time catching up to Wales through these tan funnels. Because Wales just exit the funnel every time before England can even get there. Here comes England in the final funnel. Can they make any contact? They do right there, and they overtake for the lead into the staircase. Now, Wales has to come back and regain their lead, and they only have four more funnels to do that. As they go into the first orange funnel, can Wales do any moves? No, they don't. England in the second funnel. Let's see what Wales can do in response. They try to make a contact there, but England is able to get out of there quick, and they only have two more funnels to go. England in the last funnel. Can Wales make any last-minute moves? No, they won't. It will be England who will be the champion of this match. Wales will be the loser. France versus Tunisia. And they're off. Who will come out first? France quick through the half pipes. They have a huge lead over Tunisia in this first sector. And here comes Tunisia and try and catch up a little bit there. They aren't able to through that first white funnel. And now they're both in the first hand funnel. Who will come out first? Looks like Tunisia will be able to overtake through that first funnel. And here comes France right back to contact from them. But Tunisia still able to hold the lead to the third funnel they go and Tunisia is doing a good job at holding the lead through these tan funnels which is a hard thing to do so a lot of times we'll see overtake after overtake in these tan funnels but Tunisia was able to hold it after the first overtake in the first tan funnel and now they're in the lead in the start of these orange funnels now France has to catch up within four funnels otherwise they will be eliminated and Tunisia Losing some ground. Here comes France. And they're overtaking the second to last funnel. Here comes Tunisia, though. Will they be able to pass on the last funnel? No, they won't. France will come out in the end with the victory. France will be the winner of this match. And Tunisia will be the loser. That is our prediction for the first match of the day here at the World Cup. Now it's time for Heat 2. We have Australia versus Denmark. And Australia goes on the left side. Denmark on the middle lane. And they're having a hard time getting out of that half pipe. Australia already in that tan funnel. Denmark has a lot of catching up to do. There goes Australia into the second tan funnel. Can Denmark make a move? Or will Australia continue to extend their lead? Denmark still a funnel behind Australia. They're about to exit the last funnel of these four funnels and enter the staircase. Denmark not looking like they're going to be able to even come close to Australia in this first funnel section. There goes Australia up the staircase into the first orange funnel. Denmark is doing a terrible time in this match. 
It'll take a miracle for them to be able to uh, win this match, which can happen. Let's see if what happens here. Australia in the third funnel. And Denmark now in the same funnel as Australia. And they overtake the lead. And we had a miracle. Denmark, a complete overtaking over Australia in an epic comeback. Denmark will be the winner of this match. Australia will be the loser. That is our prediction for the second match of the day at the World Cup. Now it's time for match three. We have Poland versus Argentina. Poland in the orange, Argentina in the white. And we're off. Both going in the respective lanes. We'll exit the half pipe first. And which side will they exit? And Argentina goes for the center lane. And they exit that half pipe quickly. And now they're in the large white funnel. Poland still trying to get out the first half pipe. Here they come. And Argentina in the first tan funnel. Poland now was almost going to come and try to overtake Argentina. But they got out of there, out of there quick. And now they're in the third funnel. Let's we'll see what Poland can do in response. Both marbles exit the funnel at the same time. They're exactly one funnel apart. And there goes Argentina to the staircase. Poland is one funnel behind. There goes Poland into the staircase. One staircase behind Argentina. They still can overtake these last orange funnels, but they aren't able to do it in that first one. Argentina gets out of there before Poland can do anything. Let's see if Poland can do anything in the second one. They kind of shove them into the hole. Argentina is... About to enter the last funnel. And there they go. Less than a second in that last funnel. Argentina will be the winner of this match. And Poland will be the loser. That is our prediction for the third match of the day. Here at the World Cup. Argentina will be the victor of this match over Poland. And that will definitely help them try to advance to the knockout stage of the World Cup. But now it's time for the final match of the day. Mexico versus Saudi Arabia. Mexico in the dark green and Saudi Arabia in the white and green stripes. And here we're off. Can Mexico get out of this half pipe before Saudi Arabia? No, they can't. There goes Saudi Arabia into the white funnel. And where is Mexico? And here they are in the white funnel, but Saudi Arabia is already out of it into the first hand funnel. Here comes Mexico to contact there, but Saudi Arabia is able to get out of there quick, and they're about to exit the second hand funnel already. And there they go into the third funnel. Mexico trying to catch up, but they just can't make a contact. And there's a contact there, and they're able to overtake for first place in that third funnel. But here comes Saudi Arabia right back, and they back uh, come and overtake the lead from Mexico. Up the staircase they go. Two stairs behind uh, Saudi Arabia is Mexico. As we go into the final four funnels, who will come out first? It's Mexico. Can Saudi Arabia make a comeback here and retake the lead in these last couple of funnels? Mexico trying all the candidates get to that last funnel before Saudi Arabia can do anything, and they are able to. Can Saudi Arabia do anything in this last funnel? It's not looking like it's going to happen. Mexico will be the winner of the final match of the day here in Qatar. Saudi Arabia will be the loser. Now for our first match, Belgium versus Croatia. And they're off into the half pipes. Who will exit this first half pipe and possibly gain a lead? They're pretty neck and neck right now. There goes Croatia on the right side into the white funnel first. Belgium goes into the center half pipe. And so it's going to take a while for them to get out of that. And Croatia already in the first hand funnel. They might even be able to get to the second one before Belgium even gets there. Yes, they do. Now they're two funnels ahead of Belgium. Can Belgium catch up in these funnels? If you can get close enough in these funnels, the lead is very hard to keep. But uh, if you're far enough ahead, it's pretty easy. Belgium having a really hard time catching up. There goes Croatia up the staircase. Belgium still in that third can funnel. Croatia already in that first orange funnel. Now entering the second one, and here comes a Belgium up the staircase, finally. And Croatia already up into the third orange column. This might be the largest lead that we have seen on this tournament. And there goes Croatia into the final funnel. They're about to exit, and they will be the winner of this match. 
Belgium won't be even close. Pretty quick through that funnel, but still not quite fast enough. Croatia will be the winner. Belgium will be the loser. That is our prediction for the first match of the day here at the World Cup. Now it's time for the second match. Canada versus Morocco. Canada in the white, Morocco in orange. And we're off in their separate lanes. Of course, the great question is who will exit this half pipe first? If they want to exit, they want to exit to the outside, not to the inside, because that's where the second half pipe is, which really stunts your speed. They both go on the outside lane of each half pipe. Morocco coming out first. Here comes Canada trying to make a contact on Morocco in this first hand funnel, but they aren't able to. Morocco now in the second hand funnel. Here comes Canada contact there and an overtake. Now they're in first place as we enter the third hand funnel. Can Morocco come back and retake the lead? They do a contact there. Now they're neck and neck. And Morocco is able to overtake the lead back from Canada as we enter this final funnel. They're neck and neck. And it is Canada who comes out to the staircase first. Morocco two or three steps behind Canada as we enter the orange funnel section. And there goes Morocco. Looks like they're going to do an overtake, but Canada was able to get out of there quick. A good move by Canada. But there goes Morocco, and they overtake for the lead in the third funnel they go. And here comes Canada, and they retake the lead and finish with speed. And they will be the winner of this match. Morocco won't be able to do it. A very quick finish by Canada in that final funnel. They probably only went around once or twice in that funnel before exiting in that center hole. And uh, that will be our prediction for the second match of the day here at the World Cup. Now it's time for match three. Spain versus Japan. And they're off quick for Spain into the center half pipe. So really, they're still neck and neck, but Spain does have a slightly shorter lane if they're able to exit that half pipe first. And there goes Japan, quick out of that second half pipe, and now they're neck and neck in this white funnel. And Morocco ahead by a second as we go into this first hand funnel. Here comes Japan there, and they overtake for the lead. And here comes Morocco. Let's we'll see if there's any contacts. There's one right there, and they give some momentum to Japan. They're able to overtake there. And get into these tan funnels. If they're this close, each marble will overtake as we go into each next funnel. But as we get into the staircase, things can start to change. Here goes Spain. And they're going up the staircase. Japan four uh, steps behind Spain. Now Spain has a little bit of time to get out of this funnel before Japan can get there. And it looks like they are able to just by a hair, and they go out of that second funnel as well. Japan is running out of time to come and put a contact on Spain, especially because they're in the final funnel, and here they go, and they will win this match. Another quick finish in that final funnel. These marbles really want to finish quick in that final funnel before the marble behind them can do anything to dethrone them. And they're so close to the line. Spain will be the winner of this match. Japan will be the loser. That is our prediction for the third match of the day here at the World Cup. Now for our final match, Germany versus Costa Rica. Germany in the black, Costa Rica in the orange, and they are off. A quick half-pipe exit by Costa Rica. Germany also quick, not quite as quick as we go into this uh, first white funnel into the tan funnel and it will be Costa Rica who will exit first unless somehow Germany can do any moves. No they don't. As we go into the second tan funnel Costa Rica is doing a good job at avoiding Germany. But Germany was able to catch up there and it takes for lead. A hard contact from Costa Rica as we go into the third tan funnel. They're neck and neck. Who will exit first? And it is Germany Costa Rica is very close behind it. They're able to overtake in that final tan funnel going into the staircase. Germany now in there as well. Four or five steps behind Costa Rica as we go into the final orange funnels for the final time in this day. And it will be Costa Rica who is in the lead by a funnel. Here comes Germany. They aren't able to do anything. Costa Rica gets out of there quick. 
Because we only have two more funnels to go. Hard hit from Germany there. And they may overtake for the lead. And they do right there in the final funnel. And here comes Costa Rica as well. And I think they're going to be able to take it. But here comes Germany at the last second. A comeback win by Germany. They will be the winner by a hair over Costa Rica. First off, we have South Korea versus Portugal. Portugal in the green, South Korea in the translucent color. We see three marbles per team as we get going with this new track to the first white funnel they go. It looks like that we have two Korean marbles out in front. As we get going into the second tan funnel, it is one Korean marble, now two, ahead of all the rest. And Portugal is having a hard time with all three marbles as we go into this third tan funnel. Portugal is having a really hard time here. But this race isn't necessarily about finishing first. It's about getting most points at the end. So maybe Portugal is taking it slow to preserve the accuracy of their rolling. But they are able to overtake two of the South Korea marbles. South Korea is in first with one marble. And then we got two or three Portugal marbles. And then the rest of the South Korea marbles. As we get going into this uh, final orange funnel into the green maze section. We have two South Korea marbles coming out first. And let's see where they finish. Zero for South Korea in that one. And another zero. Where will Portugal finish? There's a one and a zero. So Portugal has one so far. South Korea can still tie it up, but no. They get a zero and another uh, one for Portugal. So it's two zero. Portugal with two. And South Korea with zero. Portugal will be the winner of this match. That is our prediction for the first match of the day here on Mecca's Marble Runs. Now it's time for group two. We have Uruguay versus Ghana. Uruguay in the blue, Ghana in the green as we are going into the first white funnel. It is Ghana in the lead. Now they're all neck and neck in this first hand funnel. Heading into the second one. We have two Ghana Marbles off into the second funnel. And Ghana is able to hold the lead. For the most part in these funnels. Not every marble is in the lead, but at least they have the majority in the lead. As we go in here into the staircase, we have one Ghana marble going up first, being followed by it looks like a Uruguay. And then Uruguay, I think, is going to have another one. Let's go up the staircase. But Ghana's going to have the first chance to go through this maze and possibly get some points. But they almost get stuck there if they're able to dislodge themselves. Having a hard time getting through this maze. Where will they finish? And they get a zero just like South Korea did in the last match. And so does Uruguay. Which team will get a point first? There's a zero for Ghana. And another zero for Uruguay. It all comes down to the last two marbles. Here comes Uruguay. And a zero for Uruguay. But they finish off on the one. I'm not even sure if that's legal. They pass through the lane. And it's tied with Ghana as well. Who gets a one? It'll be 1-1. One, one. That will be our prediction for the second match of the day here at the World Cup. Now it's time for match three. We have Serbia versus Switzerland. Serbia in the red, orange color, and Switzerland in the white. And we're off. It is Serbia who has the slight edge by the majority of the marbles. So Switzerland is able to get a marble, two marbles now, out first in the second hand funnel. And now all three, Serbia has some catching up to do. Here comes one of the Serbian marbles among all of the Switzerland marbles, and they're able to exit first, but they have two Switzerland marbles to fight off. As we get going into the third, or the fourth, and final tan funnel, we have one marble per team. And it is Switzerland who comes out first. And now Serbia is starting to overtake the majority lead, even though Switzerland does have first place. It is Serbia in second, third, and I think fourth as well. And we have two marbles up here in this first and final orange funnel. And it is Serbia who comes out into the green maze first. Let's see if they get any points. And here comes another Serbia marble as well. Another zero for Serbia and another. And all three Switzerland marbles are now coming out. There's one point for Switzerland, now two. Can Serbia come up and get at least one? No, they won't. Zero for Serbia and two points for Switzerland. And Switzerland will be the winner of this match. That is our prediction for this match of the World Cup.
Now it's time for the final match of the day. We have Cameroon versus Brazil, and this is the final match of the group stage of the World Cup. Brazil in the yellow, Cameroon in the green. And we're off, and they're pretty evenly spaced out. As we go into the white funnel, it is Brazil who comes out first, but quickly Cameroon comes in as well. And Brazil now trying to get out of the second hand funnel, and they do able to uh, get one out there. And Cameroon is now pressuring the remaining two Brazil marbles, and they are actually able to overpass into the second or third hand funnel. And here comes Brazil out of that final funnel into the stairs first. And now the second Brazil marble is trying to get there as well. But they're facing some pressure from Cameroon, who does a contact on one of them. And one of them is able to get out as well. We have all three Brazil marbles in first place entering the final orange funnel. About to enter the green maze. And there goes the first one. And here comes the Cameroon marbles. And with the first Brazil marble trying to get some points here. And they uh, go to the side. There's 1-0 Brazil, 1-1, one, one. and uh, there's 0-4 Cameroon. Let's we'll see if Brazil can get another one. And they are able to, 2-4 Brazil. And the only way Cameroon can tie this up is if both marbles get one point, and there's a 0-4 Cameroon. So that automatically will declare Brazil the winner of this match. The 1-2 match, Brazil will be the winner. Cameroon will be the loser. That is our prediction for the final match of the group stage here at the World Cup. Here is the bracket system for the final knockout stage of the World Cup. Of course, today we will be going with the Netherlands, the USA, Argentina, and Australia up in the top left hand corner. First up, we have the Netherlands versus the USA. Netherlands in the gold, USA in the blue. And we're off into the first orange funnel. Netherlands gets out first, being followed by the USA. And the USA is able to overtake there, but this is less about a race and more about accuracy. Let's see how these marbles do as they go through these columns. USA has a couple marbles in the lead, but here comes the Netherlands as well. And we're gonna go into this final funnel. And we have one more maze after that until the final goal. And here comes the Netherlands. They missed their first shot. No points for Netherlands so far, and neither the USA. They don't get any points on that shot, and here comes the Netherlands. One goal for Netherlands, and there's a miss by the USA. There's one more chance for the USA to tie up this match, but they won't do it. They will miss, and we'll see if Netherlands makes this last one. No, they won't. It'll be a 1-0, and the Netherlands will win the first game of this match. Now let's see what happens in the second game of this match. Can the USA tie it up? And they're off into the first funnel. Netherlands out quick. Being followed by the USA. We go going through this blue slalom into the yellow slalom. They're all pretty evenly distributed. We have two marbles stuck in the blue slalom, but here comes the USA marble. And they will be able to dislodge these two other marbles. The USA is able to get both their marbles briefly ahead of the Netherlands marble, but now we have two marbles in the green slalom about to make some shots. Let's see what happens here. And there's a goal for the Netherlands. Let's see if USA can't make a goal there. No, they don't. So the Netherlands now has two points. Let's see if the USA can come up and catch back up. There's a miss by the Netherlands. And both of the USA marbles are still in that orange funnel. There goes one finally out. The Netherlands has another miss. USA can possibly tie it up here. They get both of these marbles in. There's the first one. They miss. Let's see if the second one can even just get one point. Do these final couple of turns. Taking his time. And here he goes. Still a miss. USA has not made any goals in this match. And that will crown the Netherlands. The winners of this match. And they will advance to the next bracket of the knockout stage of the World Cup. That is our prediction for the first match, the Netherlands versus the United States. Now it is time for the second match of the day. Australia versus Argentina. Australia in the yellow, Argentina in the white with blue and black stripes. And they're off. Australia gets one up. Here comes Argentina as well. All three Argentina marbles out there in the slalom. And Australian marbles are lagging behind quite a bit. 
the Argentina Marbles are way too eager to get out and ahead and score those goals early. If they go too quickly, though, it may cause their accuracy to go down and miss the goal altogether. Here comes Argentina about to try to make a goal there, but they miss. And Australia is actually able to get one. And here comes the Argentina Marbles. Two Argentina Marbles make a goal. It's a 2-1 right now. Can Australia make a comeback? They're both still in this final orange funnel. Going into this green section. Australia can even get a full three marble sweep. But there's the first one and they missed that one. They went their chance of three scores. But they are able to get two. So we have a tied 2-2 match in the first game. So whoever gets more goals in this final match will advance to the next bracket in the... Uh, knockout stage of the World Cup. Australia and Argentina both have two marbles out. Now all three. Argentina is a little bit behind overall. They're catching up a little bit here as we go into these yellow slalom sections. We have one marble from each team in the final orange funnel. Argentina is able to get out first as we go into the green slaloms. The maze type section. Here comes Argentina. Will they make a goal? No, they won't. There's a miss by Argentina. Let's see if Australia can do any better. And there's a goal for Australia. And here comes another one. They make two. Here comes Argentina right back, though. And here comes another Australian marble. Will they make it? No, they won't. Let's see if Argentina can tie this match. And they are able to just by a little bit, trying to make a ricochet off the wall there. They aren't able to do it. They do have... A rim shot. But they aren't able to make it so close. But it will be Australia who will be advancing to, the of course, predicting more World Cup matches. Here are the brackets for the knockout stage of the World Cup. And today we will be doing the top right hand side England, Senegal, France, and Poland. First up, we have France and Poland. France in the blue, Poland in the orange. And we're off into the first orange funnel. It is Poland coming out to lead into the blue section of the slaloms. But here comes France as well. France a little bit farther behind than Poland. Let's see how they can react. Still, it's Poland in the lead with all three marbles. But here comes France. And they were able to overtake in the last spot for a second. But then they were re-overtaken by Poland as we enter the final green slalom. This is where the points really start to add up. Let's see if France get one. There's one for France. And here comes Poland as well. They tie it up with 1-1. We have two marbles stuck. France and Poland on the slaloms. And there's a miss for Poland and a goal for France. And that will get France two points in the first match of this game. Poland with only one because they had two marbles get stuck. One for Poland, one for France. And now Poland is the underdog in the second half of this match. Let's see if they can get more points than France at the end of this race. But again, Poland somewhat in the lead, but this time they have one marble all the way back at the back, which could be their strategy to getting a last minute goal as we get going into this final orange funnel. It is Poland who has two marbles and here comes France as well and another France marble getting stuck there. They were able to get dislodged by one of their teammates and Poland is the first one to get into the green slalom. Let's see if they make any points here at the end. Here comes Poland and they go straight down the middle but they miss there and there's two shots from France and they both miss as well and here comes Poland. They tie out the game with 2-2 and France Misses with all three marbles. And now Poland has a shot to overtake France with their final marble. And there they go. The final score of this match. Poland 3-2. to two, And Poland will win. An underdog story by Poland. And they will advance to the next stage of the World Cup. That is our prediction for the first match of the day. Here on Quebec's Marble Runs and over at the World Cup. Now it's time for match two. We have England versus Senegal. Which team will come out on top? England in the white with blue. Senegal with the green and white. As we get going here, Senegal comes out first. And here comes England as well. And they overtake into the blue slalom section. 
They're all pretty jumbled together from this point of the race. We get going into the second yellow portion of the slalom into the orange funnel. We have two from each team in that last orange funnel, but two have already exited entering the green slalom. And we almost had a marble stuck there. And here goes Senegal first shot and they miss. And now we have two chances for England to score some points and no scores there. Two misses by England and there's one straight down the field by Senegal. And here comes another one. Another point for Senegal. England could only have one. And they are able to get one point there. And now England is behind as we start the second half of this match. Will England be able to come up and come back like we saw in the last match? And they're off into the first orange funnel into the blue slalom section. Yet again, it is Senegal in the lead being followed by some England marbles. But they're all pretty mixed up here. And one Senegal marble way back in the back of the pack. And it is still Senegal in the lead, but here comes an England, two England marbles, and a Senegal marble is stuck. Let's see if England tries to dodge them without dislodging them, which is going to be pretty hard to do. We have both England marbles now in the green slalom, and now they're going to try to do some scoring here. Let's see what happens. And we have a miss by England. They still can overtake if Senegal doesn't score very much. There's a miss by Senegal as well. Here comes England with their second shot, and they miss there as well. Senegal up next, and they miss too. England has one more chance to tie up this match, and they miss. Senegal has one more marble, but they have already eliminated England, advancing to the next bracket of the World Cup here in the knockout stage. Still, this last Senegal marble gets to finish the race and possibly even score. We have no scores in the second half of this match. It will be a 2-1 to one finish. Senegal will advance. England will be knocked out. That is our prediction for the final match of the day here at the World Cup. Going with our matches today, we will be doing the bottom left-hand corner, Japan, Croatia, Brazil, and Korea. Now it's time for our first match. We have Japan versus Croatia. Croatia in the white, Japan in the blue. And we are about to start, and we're off into the first orange funnel. I think one marble was really out far pretty ahead. It was Croatia there. All three Croatia marbles already in the blue slalom section. And Japan now just getting there. But these races aren't about speed. They're about accuracy at the end of the course. So we'll have to see which teams have the best strategy to get into those uh, goals first. Depending on where you exit the slalom, give you a better or worse chance of getting into that goal. You want to get into the middle sections as close to the goal as possible. And there's a goal for Japan. Here comes some more. And no more goals there. We have one more marble. The last Croatia marble. Who still has a chance to tie it up with Japan. They exit in the center lane here. They might be able to do it. Orange lane they pick. And they go into the goal. It's a 1-1 match for the first half of this game. Now it's time for the second half. Tied 1-1 game. Whoever gets more goals at the end of this track will be advancing to the next bracket of the World Cup. Croatia stalling out there. Japan was able to get out of the way fast. But Croatia was stuck there at the beginning of the Blue Slums for a couple seconds. And it looks like we have a stuck marble. Croatia, one of their marbles is not going to exit that first Blue Slalom. That's definitely going to put them at a disadvantage. But they have both of their other marbles already in the Green Slalom. If they get two points, it'll be pretty difficult for Japan to past them. We have one goal for Croatia. Let's see if they can have another one. And here comes Japan. They miss there. Croatia misses as well. So if Japan even gets one goal, they will tie it up. But there's another miss for Japan. Will they be able to get this final goal? Here they go. Final goal and they miss. Croatia will beat out Japan by one point. Even with their stuck marble at the first slalom, they were still able to edge out over Japan with one goal. And, so, and that is our prediction for this match of the World Cup. Croatia will advance. Japan will be knocked out. Now it's time for our second match of the day, Brazil versus Korea. Korea in the clear, Brazil in the yellow. And we're about to start. And we're off into the orange funnel. They go. We'll come out first. It's Korea. We go into these blue slums. Really, all these marbles are trying to do at this point is not get stuck on the track because that severely disadvantages their team. 
they have less marbles to get goals with as we get going into the second yellow slalom. And we do have a, a South Korean marble stuck. But they were able to get dislodged by another one of their teammates. And the same thing happened to Brazil. But they were able to get dislodged as well as we get going into this final green slalom section. Which country will be able to get the first goal? And there goes Korea way off to the side and a miss for them. And there's a miss for Brazil as well. Uh, Korea is up next. Let's see if they can make any goals. No, no goals for them. And here comes another Korea marble. And they barely miss as well. Can Brazil get at least one point? There's another miss for them. This final marble will be the deciding factor whether or not Brazil will be in the lead in the start of the second half. And they won't because they both have zero goals. A very underperformed match. So we still have 0-0. Zero, zero. So if one of these teams even just gets one point more than their opponent, they will advance as we get going here to the second match. And it is Brazil who gets all three marbles out ahead first. We do have a Brazil marble stalling there. And that's not what you want to see. You want to try to beat your opponent as we get going through these slaloms slowly but surely. And it is Korea who will get out first. But here comes Brazil as well. And they're actually able to overtake. We have two marbles stuck on the slalom. But luckily, we do have one more Korean marble back in the back who will be able to dislodge these two marbles. Here goes Brazil into the green slalom. Who will be able to come out first and possibly even get a goal? We have no goal so far. Here comes Korea. And they barely missed. They go there, though. And they are able to get a goal. And so does Brazil. And there's a second goal for Brazil. A crazy move by Korea. Hitting the pole on the side of the goal. And then coming back and getting back in the goal. There's a miss for Korea. And there's another miss for Korea. So Brazil has already won. Korea does not have any more chance to get a goal. And there's another solidifying point for Brazil. A 3-1 to one match. Brazil will advance to the next round of the World Cup. And South Korea will be knocked out. That is of that match as well. Here is the brackets for the knockout stage of the World Cup. Today we're doing the bottom right hand corner, Morocco, Spain, Portugal, and Switzerland. Now it's time for the first match, Spain versus Morocco. Spain in the yellow, Morocco in the orange, and we're off into the first orange funnel. And it is Morocco who can get out first. And here comes some Spain as well. And they were able to overtake for a second. But really, it's very hard to keep the lead in these slalom because if you're in the lead, the marble in second or third right behind you will overtake. And we do have two marbles stuck right there. But they were able to get dislodged by a marble behind them as we get into the second and final funnel of the track into the green slaloms. And it is Morocco and Spain who have one marble each. Now two from Morocco in the green slalom. All three Morocco marbles now in the slalom. And there's two shots at the goal, and they both miss. And so we have still zero points. to see if Morocco can do anything there. Still miss to the right side. All the marbles going to the right side of the field. Spain only has one more chance to overtake for the lead and get at least one point in that goal. And they're about to exit the slalom. And they go to the left, but they aren't able to score a goal. And so we still have a tied match 0-0 as we enter the second half of this match. And we're off yet again. It is Spain being followed by Morocco into this blue slalom section. Let's see if we can get out first. Most of the Morocco marbles are ahead of the Spain marbles. But here comes Spain. And they are slowly overtaking that last Morocco marble. And... They're all jumbling up, and we do have a Morocco marble stuck on the slalom, and there are no marbles behind them, so that will put a significant disadvantage to Morocco because they only have two marbles to score, and Spain has three. So if Spain can get all three marbles in the goal, that is an instant elimination for Morocco. And there's one miss for Morocco. One score for Spain. There's a miss for Spain, a miss for Morocco, and another score for Spain. And Spain will be the winner of this match. Morocco will be kicked out of the World Cup and eliminated from this tournament. Spain will advance to the next bracket of the World Cup. That is our prediction for the first match of the day here at the FIFA World Cup. Now it's time for the second match of the day. Portugal versus Switzerland. 
Portugal in the green, Switzerland in the red. And they're off into the orange funnel. And it's Portugal who gets the marble out very quickly. They already are overpassed by Switzerland as we're going into this blue slalom, into the yellow slalom, and it is still Switzerland in the lead. Here comes Portugal. And we have two marbles stuck right there, but they get dislodged by one of the Switzerland marbles. There are some flat spots in these slaloms where marbles can't get stuck. We have another pair of marbles stuck right there. Switzerland and Portugal both have one stuck. They are dislodged. As long as there's marble behind you, you don't have anything to worry about. The main problem is if you get stuck with no more marbles behind you. And there's a score for uh, Portugal, and they miss. And a miss for Switzerland as well. And here comes two more Switzerland marbles. One score for them. And here comes Portugal. Another miss for them. Portugal still can tie up this match with a 1-1 if they score with this last marble. And there they go, and a miss to the right side. And it will be Switzerland who is in the lead at the start of the second half of this match, 1-0. Switzerland on the left, Portugal on the right, and we're off into the orange funnel they go. It is Portugal in the lead, but here comes Switzerland as well. Portugal and Switzerland all jumbling about in these slaloms. Into the yellow slalom they go, about to enter the orange funnel. And we have two marbles stuck, but there is still one marble behind them, so they will be able to get dislodged. And there they go, dislodged there, but they still get stuck. Portugal is able to get one marble through, but they still, each team only has two marbles now because each one has one stuck. And now they're about to exit the green slalom, and there's a score for Portugal. The score is now tied, and here comes Switzerland, and they miss for the first shot. And now their second shot and their final shot is about to come, and they are able to score. There's 2-1, Switzerland to Portugal, and Portugal misses on the final shot. So they will be knocked out of this group stage and Switzerland will advance to the next stage of the World Cup. That is our prediction for this match of the World Cup here on Fubeka's Marble Run. It's possible. Here are all the teams in the quarterfinals. And today we'll be doing the left side. So the Netherlands, Argentina, Croatia, and Brazil. Now it's time for our first match, Argentina versus the Netherlands. Netherlands in the yellow, Argentina in the white. As we get going into the first funnel, into the blue slalom, it is the Netherlands in the lead. Here comes Argentina, and they overtake there with two of their marbles. And they have one more marble to get in the lead. If they want to have all three marbles uh, finish the course first. And they were able to get all three marbles ahead of the Netherlands, who has some catching up to do. But we do have a Netherlands marble stuck. And that will put a disadvantage on them. There's the first score for Argentina. And they're able to make it. But the Netherlands only has two marbles. So it's going to be a lot more difficult for them to be, uh, be able to beat Argentina. Argentina has their second score. And they miss in that one. And there's another score for Argentina. Two misses for the Netherlands. And one marble stuck on the track. So Argentina will have the first goal of this match. Now it's time for the second half of this match. Netherlands still can come and overtake Argentina for the win. And the one advancement spot that these two teams are fighting for as we go into the blue slalom again. This time it is the Netherlands who is in the lead. Argentina is having a harder time catching up. They do have one marble down there in second. But now Argentina has a marble stuck on the slalom just like the Netherlands had in the last match. Almost having another one there. Way too close for comfort for Argentina. And all three Netherlands marbles are now in the green slalom about to try to make some scores. There's one miss for Netherlands. There's a score for Netherlands. Let's see if the Netherlands can make another score. If they do, it will be tied up. There's a miss for Argentina. And here comes the Netherlands, and they hit the goal post, and they aren't able to make it. They aren't in the goal. And what a nail-biter there. It will be Argentina who will advance to the semifinals of the World Cup. And the Netherlands will be eliminated by a very close match. That is our prediction for the first match of the quarterfinals. And now it's time for the second match of the quarterfinals and of this video. We have Brazil versus Croatia. 
Brazil in the yellow, Croatia in the white with red stripes. And we're about to start. And they're off into the first funnel they go. And it's Croatia who gets the first marble out. But there comes Brazil as well. Croatia already has all three marbles in the slalom. And here comes Brazil as well. They're pretty well mixed as we go into this first slalom section. We'll see if anything changes as we get into the funnel. We have almost some marbles stuck there. But they are able to uh, solve things out. Brazil gets the marble stuck there. But here comes Croatia. They will be able to be freed there. And there's a score for Brazil. And here comes two more Croatia marbles. Let's see if they can do anything in response. And there's a hit from Croatia to their own team. And they both miss. And there's a miss for Brazil as well. And here comes Croatia. And there's another score for them. So it will be a tied 1-1 match. In the first half of this match. Let's see who will come out on top in the second half. And they're off. This time it's Croatia. Two marbles in the lead, but here comes two Brazil marbles as well. And they quickly overtake for the lead as we go into these blue solemns. And Croatia has a marble stuck there, but they are able to get dislodged by their other teammates. And now they have the first marble to go into that orange funnel. And Croatia has a marble stuck on the slalom, but again, there's a Brazil marble behind, so they will both be dislodged. And here comes the first shot for Croatia. A miss there. Let's see if Croatia can make a score there. No goals there for Croatia or Brazil. And there's another miss for Brazil as well. And Brazil only has one marble left. Can Brazil make this crucial shot? And they select the middle lane. They are able to make a goal with one more point over Croatia. And that will do it. Croatia has a marble stuck on the track. We will be predicting the final match of the World Cup. But first, we have the quarterfinals. We are doing the right side of the quarterfinals today. England, France, Morocco, and Portugal. First off, we have England versus France. France in the dark blue. England in the lighter white with blue stripes. And we're off. And is France with a quick marble out of that first orange funnel into the blue slalom. And we have all three France marbles out there in the lead. England is having a little bit of a harder time getting out. But here comes France as well. And we have a France marble stuck there. We go into these final orange funnels into the green slalom. And we'll have to see which marble can make a goal first. And there's a shot by England, but they miss on that one. And there's a miss for France as well. Here comes another France marble, and they miss in that one. England still has two marbles, but we have two marbles stuck right near the field. This is a first that we've seen in this tournament. England marble may be able to dislodge them if they take the right path, and there they go. And here goes France, and they make a goal and two goals for England. England will be in the lead in the first half of this match. What a crazy finish. Both of those marbles stuck. France was able to get out there and score a goal, but England was able to get both. Some good strategies by both of these teams. France can still very well take this match. They get more points than England at the end of this course, but it will be difficult because they are one point behind. England is hoping that that will be enough to advance to the semifinals. As we get into the final green slalom, it is England in the lead. Here comes France, and they're going through the slalom, about to make it to the field. And there's a miss by France, and there's a, two goals for England. One miss for England as well. And here comes France, and there's another miss. And I don't think France... Oh, there is one more France marble. Thinking for a second there, they may have had one stuck. But it was just way back in the back. Now he's all alone. He gets to concentrate on making this final goal. But it doesn't matter if England has four points. There's the final goal for France. Two to four. And it will be England who will advance to the semifinals of the World Cup. The final four. And France will be kicked out on the quarterfinals. That is our prediction for the first match of today's matches. Now it's time for match two. We have Morocco versus Portugal. And this is history in the making. This is the first time Morocco has ever made it this far in the World Cup. 
So, of course, all of our wishes go out to them. But Portugal is a pretty big contender as well as we go into the blue slalom. And it is Morocco who was in the lead. Portugal is able to overtake through that slalom to get this final orange funnel. And Morocco does have a marble stuck. And they have two marbles stuck. Morocco is in big trouble. Portugal has three marbles still. And Morocco only has one, but I believe one of their marbles will get dislodged by Portugal. Yeah, there they go into the final orange funnel. And we only have one score by Portugal. Morocco has missed their first marble. Now we have one marble each. Morocco can't tie up this match. If Portugal makes it, then it won't be tied. But there goes Portugal. And they miss. Let's see if Morocco can make it. They do right there. It'll be a tied 1-1 match on the first half of this duel. So this is anybody's game. Let's see if Morocco can pull it off. It's Portugal. Then Morocco. Then Portugal again into the blue slalom. Here comes Morocco. And then Portugal. They're pretty well staggered as we go out of this funnel into the slaloms. And they switch places quite a bit through these slaloms as we go into these orange funnel number two. First into the green final slalom is Morocco. Let's see if they can score any points with this first marble of the second half. And there they go straight down the center field and they are able to make a, a goal. But here comes Portugal as well with the response. And there's a miss for Portugal. That means Morocco can take it with these final two marbles. Where will they pick center lane? And there's another score for Morocco and another one. We have a 4-2 match and that will do it for Morocco. They will advance to the semifinals of the World Cup. Portugal can't even make it, even if they scored this last one. And they aren't able to. Two to four, Morocco crushing Portugal. First time they've made it to the quarterfinals. And now, the first time they've made it to the semifinals. That is our prediction. Match, and of course, we'll be predicting each one of those as they come. Here is the bracket system for the World Cup. We have Argentina and Croatia on the left. And we have France and Morocco on the right. And now it's time to start the first semifinal match of the World Cup. We have lots of different marble elements on this track, including an elevator. So we'll have to see how they do as we get into the race. We have Argentina on the left, Croatia on the right. And they're off into the first white funnel, into the first sky rail section, and now in the orange funnels. And it is Argentina who might be slightly ahead there they go into the first funnel into the second and now, now here comes croatia and a hard hit there i think croatia might be able to overtake for lead but no they're not argentina takes it right back and now they're in the third orange funnel do the little spiral section they go for croatia and now croatia having a harder time catching up to argentina but they're in a slalom now let's see if croatia can do anything in the slaloms here they come they're a little bit quick through that first slalom section and Argentina about to exit the slaloms now and here comes Croatia though and they're neck and neck both going right up to the elevator and it is Croatia in the lead one step ahead of Argentina as we go into the long rail section Argentina drafting Croatia just trying to get ahead but of course you can't get ahead in this type of track so really they're just trying to stay as close as possible to Croatia as they enter the next orange funnel and Argentina may have overtaken there. Yes, they did. And now they're in the second orange funnel after this uh, rail section. And here comes Croatia. Hard hit from them. I think they might be able to exit first. Yes, they do. But here comes Argentina as well into this next funnel. We only have two more funnels to go. Who will be the winner of this match? There goes Argentina into the second to last funnel. Croatia is running out of time. But here they come in a contact from them. And they overtake there. And now they're in the final blue funnel. And then they have two lanes that they can choose from, the red lane or the green lane. And the green lane is faster. Here comes Argentina. They might be able to overtake four lead. Here comes Croatia as well. They're neck and neck. Croatia takes the slow lane, and they are going to be the champion of the first match of the semifinal. And they will advance to the final round of the World Cup here in Qatar. And Argentina will be the loser. They will advance to the third place match versus the loser of the other half of the semifinals. And now it's time to start the second half of the semifinals, Morocco versus France. Comment down below which team you think will accompany Croatia in the final match. 
as we are going. It is Morocco who was in lead in the first rail section, and now they are already in the second orange funnel. France already having some trouble early in this match. Let's see if they can catch up in the rest of the match. It is Morocco still in lead, and where is France? There they are, they're finally making it. A really hard time through those first two funnels. And now they are in this third funnel here. Morocco already halfway through the slaloms. Here comes France though. Let's see if they can catch up through the slaloms. Because once they get to the elevator and into the rail section, there will be no more overtakes until we get back to the funnel section. And here comes Morocco into the rail section. France way behind. And Morocco has an extensive lead over France. France is going to have a really hard time catching up to Morocco in the second half of this match. They're about a lap behind on that oval section of the rails. Morocco entering the uh, orange funnel. Here comes France as well. Can they make a contact? No, they don't. It is Morocco into the second orange funnel after the rails. Can France make a move? There goes Morocco out of the second orange funnel into the third through these wiggly way, uh, track type sections. And there goes Morocco out of that funnel. France is running out of time. Morocco in the second to last funnel. Here comes France as well. And they overtake into the last funnel. And they might be able to take it in the last second. Here comes Morocco though as well. They put a little bit of contact. There's another one onto France who will be able to exit first. There goes France and they take the quick lane. And France will have a major comeback win. And they will advance to the finals of the World Cup versus Croatia and Morocco. We'll see the changes of the track here as the round starts. We have a lot more of the rail section than we have had in the previous matches. We have Croatia on the left, Morocco on the right. This is for the third place. Which one of these marbles will get to sit on the podium overall at the World Cup? Into the first orange funnel they go. And it is Croatia slightly in the lead over Morocco. But here comes Morocco on a push there. And they're able to get into the second orange funnel first. But here comes Croatia right back. And I think they may be able to overtake here. Yes, they do. Now into a rail section. And here comes Morocco as well. This is just speed as they go through this rail section into the next orange funnel. Now they're both in the same funnel. But there goes Croatia into the fourth orange funnel. And now they exit going into the elevator first. Morocco has some catching up to do if they want to be able to catch back up to Croatia, who's already exited the elevator. Where is Morocco? Croatia already into the triple spiral loop section. And here comes Croatia just now entering. And Croatia about to exit the second part of the rail section. And there they go into this next first orange funnel after the second rail section. And here comes Morocco as well. A hard hit there. And they're able to pass for the lead. Into the second orange funnel right there. Let's we'll see if Croatia can do anything in response. No, they can't. There goes Morocco. Through the little wide track there. Into the second to la uh, the third to last funnel of this race. And here comes Croatia there. And a good pass by them. Into the second to last funnel. Here comes Morocco. They're running out of time to take the lead and sit on the podium of the World Cup. And there they overtake there into the last blue funnel, which is going to be a slower funnel, but it is more susceptible to hard hits. Let's see if anything happens here. Slowly going around the funnel for the final time. Who will exit first? There goes Bronco. They take the uh, slow lane, but they are able to finish before Croatia. So that will mean... This will be a first in history. Morocco will sit on the third place on the podium of the World Cup. The first time an African nation getting this far in the World Cup. That is our prediction for the third place match of the World Cup. And now it's time to get on to the match everybody is waiting for. And that is the final round. France versus Argentina. Who will come out on top and win this overall World Cup? It's been a long journey to get here. So many matches. And we have two countries left. Comment down below who you think will win. Will it be France? Or will it be Argentina? We're about to find out here on Fubeca's Marble Runs. As the final is about to start. France on the left in the dark blue. Argentina on the right in the white with blue and black stripes. And the final match of the World Cup is about to start. 
and they're off. France quick out of the gate through that white funnel. And they already have a slight lead over Argentina into the first orange funnel. But here comes Argentina, and they're able to overtake into the second funnel. And here comes France to see if they can overtake in the second funnel. No, they don't. There goes Argentina into the first rail section. And here comes France as well. About a second difference between France and Argentina. Really quick rotation there for Argentina. And they exit that next funnel. Here comes France as well. And a contact there. Can France overtake in this funnel? Yes, they do. And they'll be the first one to enter the elevator. And here comes Argentina to probably three or four prongs behind France as we enter this sky rail section. Let's see if Argentina can gain any time on France in this one marble lane section. Here comes Argentina. I think they're gaining a little bit of ground. Oh, here they come right now. They're neck and neck. Drafting there. We go into this next orange funnel. They're neck and neck in. Who's going to exit first? And there goes France. But here comes Argentina as well. Two soccer powerhouses. And Argentina is going to retake the lead there into this wiggly type section and a full quick exit in that uh, orange funnel there only two more funnels to go for argentina here comes france and france is going to overtake in the second to last funnel but here comes argentina right back and they're fighting they're really fighting for the lead here we are running out of time and who's going to take it france takes the slow lane and france will be the champion of the world cup a really tight match france coming out with a quick win at the end. They were neck and neck the entire race. The Argentina fans, very disappointed at this finish, but France is celebrating like crazy, winning the World Cup, and they definitely deserve it. After all the matches they've been through, coming out with the win. That is our prediction for the final match of the World Cup here in Qatar 2022. Do you think this is correct? We will find out here in a little while. And now it's time for the podium ceremony. Of course, it'll be Morocco in third place, Argentina in second, and France sits atop the podium in first place. Congratulations to all three of these teams who made it to the podium of the World Cup, but today everybody aspires to be France who gets the World Cup trophy. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below to stay tuned for more marble racing content here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. Until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.